Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. I am the best anal hernia ever. Wow. Uh, today, we're joined by Ben Saint. No, you're not. Uh, you're right. Ben has in, that title in name sure. only, or in name only. His yeah. spirit has left. I'm only Munchie, here. defend your existence. Kid mm-hmm. power, kid power, kid pride worldwide, kid pride worldwide. <laughs> Rise Hippocrit. up against your oppressors. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, mm. do, you, do you guys remember VHS? <laughs> mm. <laughs> no. Mm. Uh, the Devu is here. I've been in so many podcasts lately that I feel a little bit of bad about being in a giant, empty, furnitureless room with such a strong echo. So right now I'm in the closet. Uh, I don't. I admire what? your minimalist in the lifestyle. Closet. Devo's Excellent. never been out of the closet. I really do. Oh know. shit! Uh, Mage of the Lethal Variety. <laughs> Hello, Mage here, and I'm speaking from my childhood home right now. Oh, excellent! Boo. Uh, and <laughs> Boo to childhood. <laughs> Uh, and you're Digi such Bros a fucking here. grump today. What, what's going on, Scrooge? Shut the hell up. Digi Bros here. <laughs> gross. <laughs> He's gross. Oh, I was mage for a second. <laughs> this is is that what it used to sound like? Holy shit. <laughs> That's what we all used to sound like. That's awful. Um, this, is, this is the worst intro. Everyone, it is, everyone, look upon your screen, gaze your eyeballs for one split half of a fucking second, and look at the number of this episode. This is episode one, one, one of the Procrastinators Podcast. Smash we, one. We, smash we, we, one we in the smash comments. Smash that one. I mean, I mean, I mean you know, if, if you could Respect spare a few, it would really help me out. Like, like if you could find it in yourself to, to give this old, this old partner a few ones, then, you know. <laughs> I, know I mean, I, mean I, I, I would like I know we're all yeah. feeling, you know, the economy's down and inflation is up, but mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's worth it. You, 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 to, to walk down to your local Vons, you gotta have a bushel or a barrel full of ones. But you know what? You can just to buy your fucking loaf of bread and your apple. But if you can spare a <laughs> one or two, uh, I would clap. Patreon percentages and numbers right now. Do we need to talk about uh-huh. that right now as well? What? What, what about them? What about them? Isn't, like, aren't we, like, at a very specific number on Patreon? Oh, well, Is that true? On Twitter, no, made, you're thinking of Twitter. Oh, one, 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 Twitter. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, there we go. On, on Twitter. Guys, it would really do me a big favor if you would all please pledge to our Patreon so we could get <laughs> one, 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 one on there. Oh, that would be yeah. great. Th- that would be reason. great. That's uh, but we we, we are at 111, 1111 tweets on the PCP, tweets. and we're also following right. 11 people, which is nice. Excellent, excellent. If, uh, if, well, there if, it is. If, um, I haven't gotten 3, past 000, the fact if that 3, it's been 11 4, weeks since Radcon. If, if 3,568 people could unfollow us, please, so we could have 11 <laughs> yeah. followers, that would be pretty nice uh, too. And, and what'd you say, Digi? It's been so long since Radcon. I can't believe it's been 11 weeks since Radcon three, and we've only edited true? like half the shit. Episode 100 was there. If no, we're no, on no, at one eleven, then it's been eleven oh, weeks. Well, it's been eleven episodes. Oh right, it's been eleven. Is that another? <laughs> it's okay. All right, the it, ones it's, keep piling. It's all in. down to the ones. The, the ones down. are the DNA. If, if you look down, look like a microscope down at your DNA, then you will realize it's actually not a bunch of dots as is represented in Jurassic Park. It's actually a bunch of ones. You know, they, they say one. that the world. They say that everything in the world can be represented by ones and zeros. But no, ones will do just fine. <laughs> oh, Thank you very much. I stared. Slightly, slightly elongated ones. ones will be the. Zeros. I wanted to yeah. be with the one that the one could not stare back at me like I stared at it. Drove me to madness. <laughs> they call me the weird one hermit now. <laughs> that weird one hermit. <laughs> one well, weird old to hermit. Your belief to, for, this is for, not for a a the, like make ones yeah. joke episode. This is the kids episode. All right, is, it is right. Not? This is childhood kids boyhood. Took eleven years to make, specifically not specifically boyhood, not, uh, not yes. childhood. If you're a, if you can only respond if you're a boy. All if right, only yeah. boyhood took eleven years to make. This joke would work way better. On. Uh, uh, there you go. Red line is is that. All right. So here we go, everyone. <laughs> childhood, being a child, being small and weak right. and cowardly. What do you know? It's wrong. What, do, what do you say, Ben? It's what wrong, do you say? It's wrong and it's a sin. 
Are there I'm, any redeeming qualities to children? No. Ben? Any? No. Oh, well. They're just humans, but worse. Jesus Christ. Let's I'm, not I'm forget that in. Munchie is the child. I, I'm yeah, coming well, in with a fucking he, wrecking that's who ball. I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm talking here to about beat him. the shit out of the establishment. Okay. I'm here to shake the ground like a fucking earthquake. I'm coming in. Hashtag kid power. I want to <laughs> see all these tweets tweeting the procrastinators with some sort of funny image or relatable <laughs> quote from a teenager. Munchie. With hashtag kid power. Why, Why, don't, you explode? Why don't you grow uh-huh. a fucking brain or Ready. Why don't you just fucking get your neurons all set up and get set in your ways like the rest of us? When I was growing up, and we can get into, we can get into this later. But when I was growing up, I was always trying to become like a cool ass adult and be mature and like pay taxes and shit. And Excellent. now I realize that's stupid. But not for the usual like, oh, I, I don't have it. You know, you don't have any responsibilities as a kid. Oh, I have to wake up and work. Oh no! But because adults are fucking lame and they're always pissy baby fucker fappers who shit their fucking diapers and as lame and nihilistic as hell. The opposite Optimism of the youth is the only valid outlook in the entire world. Yeah, that's a strong argument. Uh, it's like basically the kids next door argument. You know what? Right? You're right. We talk about you've them changed, all you've episode. Changed my mind. I that's feel the way as to though be. You're I my feel hero. as though this is like. <laughs> I mean, I know as many nihil like isn't the stereotype <laughs> that nihilistic teenagers are the thing? And then when you grow up, you get past that. Is. Like I don't care what the well, world is outside of teenagers- my vision. <laughs> Teenagers are known adult sympathizers. That's well, for sure. The, the reputation sure. of adults mm. being boring and cynical comes from the fact that most adults, i.e. most people, are failures. It's the failure that makes them uninteresting. Mm. I mean, uh, failure childhood is, is where subjective. Childhood is before you've had an opportunity to fail or succeed. Most people fail, so therefore but you can only fail or succeed well, that's in why... adulthood. Davu, you're right, but that's why I don't like children, because, like, while adults have risen or have failed or succeeded at life, children haven't even put their cards on the table yet. They're, yeah. they're, they're in the waiting There's, room, waiting to even give life a try. And that's, that's not about, late. like, kids, generally, is yeah. that I see them as, like, um, like a like not quite cooked uh, chicken. Like, you put them in the <laughs> oven, and you're like, okay, that could, do, that could do with a few more years. Um, I'm not going to talk to him... <laughs> He's just being a kid. I don't mind. He's just doing his kid thing, and he's not very interesting. But I'll let him. I'll let him just sit in the oven for a little longer before I go up and <laughs> like try to treat him as a human being. That oh, that's all, of all, an, of all Hitler neighbor. did. All Hitler tried to do was put that childish race <laughs> in the oven for a little longer. But it just he just he can't catch no breaks for that, that activity. That, 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 that's sort of like oh, he's just a kid. Like I'll let him run around and smear shit on the walls. That's the reason why kids are bad is because adults won't just treat yeah, kids like adults. Yeah. Which you just yeah. Yeah. Munchie, I, in, enough. Enough of this bullshit. Children are literally worthless. They they rely on adults for everything. <laughs> yeah. Everything a child they has do done rely on has been done by. That doesn't the, mean they're the effort worthless. Of an adult. I, I feel both the way that Munchie and Devu feel here because mm. on the one hand uh, I feel like I take Devu's stance because I believe what Munchie says that like you mm. should be really hands on with a kid because like you really oh, need I to am. Oh, <laughs> oh, Jesus oh, yeah. I'm just saying you need to educate children in order to make yeah. them like understand their you know like understand the world around them like don't <laughs> right. let them just run around and be a dumbass kid try to make them not a kid anymore like well, the goal okay. of every well, kid is to eventually beat the kid out of them and make them a, a functional human so like mm-hmm. but when you see a kid who's not who's not really your business and like when i see like some dumb bratty kid out and about you know i i, I think of that boondocks moment where the where granddad mm-hmm. just beats that kid in the grocery store for the lady Hell and yeah. like everyone treats him <laughs> like a hero and yeah, obviously i was. i wouldn't have probably used the same technique but I do feel that <laughs> sense when I see like a dumbass kid where I'm like, man, someone should do something about that. But I know that if I tried to, it would just get me in trouble. So I'm just going to be like, you yeah. know what? This kid's just not worth worrying about. Just They're like them. fucking mm. dogs. They're like fucking dogs in the sense that yeah. everyone wants a dog. And then when you have a dog, you're not trained enough to be able to know what to do with it. Exactly. You don't want to yeah, uh... be like, oh, I don't want to have to spray it with a bottle of water. It's so fucking cruel. You only should your buy kid. a dog. I'm saying you have to be, you know, you, you have, have to, like, to sign. teach it. You have to be a parent. You have you to have teach to. them what the world is like. You have to be before you a get a dog. Be there. Sorry, but before you get a dog or you get a child, you should have to sign a contract saying you're willing to put it down if it goes against you. If, if, it, if, if it, it goes against prove, you, uh, well, <laughs> if it gets up in me, you should have to like play like. Place. You should you should have to like play a game of like ski ball or like sign like a couple of waivers backwards yeah. to be able to like legally own sign child. waivers well, it's backwards. It's the Ned Stark. It's well, yeah, it's the Ned Stark more difficult rule. that way. Like so you, this is you like simultaneously to... a breathalyzer test and like a, a literacy test at the same mm-hmm. time, basically. Mm-hmm. Also, it's ski ball. Um, mm-hmm. 
uh, listen, when I was a child, mm. I didn't do anything good. And <laughs> the only things I Same. did that it's were good. It's on you, dude. It's on you and your parents. Okay, all right, Munchie. You, you are the, ch- this is this is a celebration of Munchie's last gasp of childhood. Because <laughs> oh, no. very soon, he will have, he will be, he will be taking that thing they do in Kids Next Door, where they brain blast you so you're not a child anymore. That's literally and true. You forget, that's, yeah. that's, that's what happens. That's you forget all up. the secrets and joy of youth. That, that happens uh, when they turn 13, but never mind that. By the way, Nate, is that you, true? Yeah. when you said Forgot. brain blast, yeah, that's yeah, from Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, because teens are their own faction. Yep. Wait, right, it's right, not, that's right. Jimmy that's Neutron. Not, yeah, Jimmy Neutron oh, has oh, a brain no, blast. No, no, is that from Johnny show. Quasar, his lesser-known cousin? Right. Remember well, everyone look that up one Johnny episode? Quasar? Do, do you remember in that one episode though? Here's my counter argument: where Santa was proved to just be a super genius, just like Jimmy Neutron, and also got brain blasts. Do you remember that? Oh, what? That, that's that's, 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 that's so canon. fucking lit, dude! That, Holy that shit! It's like the next evolution of humanity is like yeah, those dude, capable that, of the brain d- blast. Did you? That's I know right. the next like, podcast the we should do. Those are the next Jimmy Neutron. Let's fucking podcast that, that, that's gonna, that's gonna every Jimmy first... Neutron episode and all the yeah. movies. Yeah. That, that, that's gonna that's gonna be my upcoming podcast. Is Fleek or is it gay? And and Santa Claus is definitely gonna be Fleek. Fleek or gay? Oh, fucking fucking Jimmy Newtype. You mean you try? <laughs> Dude. Oh, yes. Dude, that's, that's like, Gib is anime now. Incredible, incredible. Um, you're going to see our like, transformation from, from like men to beasts over the course of Chibibakus. You're going to see us like, turn into cavemen. Dude, you guys should definitely do a, a Gundam Chibibakus so that I can learn anything about Gundam. That would be really helpful for me. I don't want to do. watch mecha shows. I don't care. But they're... But why? But I'm, but they're why? why? I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't like no robots. Se- that I don't doesn't. Like robots. That is inconsequential and That's ignorant. Weird. It has it, nothing to it? do with the genre of mecha. G- Gurren Logan <laughs> being a mecha show has basically nothing to do, do with why it's in. Okay, the right, mecha okay, okay there's a huge movement going on on Annie Twitter right now of mecha fans being like, it's always been about the characters, it's not about the robots, people are stupid, nobody understands okay. mecha, it's a big deal. You know? yeah. Yeah. Could you please forgive me because the it's genre like, is named it's mecha? Like in the room. It's like in the <laughs> well, room when Lisa's mom says, like, marriage yeah. has nothing to do with love, but, like, put a Naruto headband on her and she said, mecha has nothing to do with robots. <laughs> here's, a, here's the thing about genre yeah. labels, right? Like, let's say that with metal music, you might like one, like, there might be one really great metal band who everyone appreciates, but mm-hmm. then there's, like, a thousand shitty metal bands, and some people right. will just, because they are categorically a metal fan, listen to all of it. Mecha's the same way. Every there are great mecha story, anime like Gundam yeah. that are not really about Gundam, about every robots. Every good you know? story is about human characters. I'm exactly. Not right. There was going to be no good speaking mecha. About mecha. Yeah. 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 Speaking about mecha, yeah. mecha and the human heart Charles has conflict with itself. Give, save us, save us, give. <laughs> speaking about childhood now, because uh, that's the thing. What? Um, mecha? And mecha. <laughs> what? Mecha I had mm-hmm. robot. Toys. Which toys did we have, yes. and Megazords. what did we do? I I, I, I was post toy. Yeah. I, I I'm so young. I have a feeling you would be. Toy. Yeah, yeah, I have no feeling that too. That's that interesting. Like toys yeah. are not really. Nobody gives a fuck because you had yeah, more advanced things. Well, yeah. I mean, speaking of mechas, I mean, yeah, Ben and I did have uh, all the Megazords that we got for all the years that we cared, and mm-hmm. I had a ton of ah, Transformers. What kids. Dude, I Transformers really were fucking sick. That many Transformers. I, like I had the exact I, same toys I as you guys. I also was Power Rangers and then Beast Wars. Oh, I, yeah. I, 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 I guess the only Transforming toy I, 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 had I had was but like a Digimon mm. toy that like evolved, quote unquote. Well, I, well, which Digimon? I, I think it was I'm like curious. the Hawk In Lithuania, Mon. they only had GoBots. <laughs> 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 who, was, who was? I want to know. No, it was like, I think it's called Hawkmon and it evolved into the armored Digivolution of it. Oh, I think I okay. had that. It's like a, a weird, something? like, you, sli- no, you, s- you flipped Garudamon. up his, like, skull, hmm. and then you turned it upside down, right. and it became, like, a metal skull. Mm, yeah, back. okay. Kinda, no, right. you, well, you put cool. a thing on it, and then, like, you ex- expand its mm-hmm. wings, and into the wings you put in legs. Mm-hmm. It also opened up, and you had, like, a little mini world inside of it, mm-hmm. with a little mini Digimon, and that was right. really cool. Hey, s- Speaking of Digimon and childhood, is Digimon like still good? Like some no. people have told me that like it got good again or something. I don't yeah, believe it. What do you think Digimon Tom would know. Try was oh, good? Def- There's yeah, a couple of yeah. them have like their boring, defenders. Though. Nate, here's what you have to do. You have to Google search Digimon. Look at the monster designs. Do you D- like Digi- them? Digimon is good. Oh well, I think <laughs> I couldn't tell if he. I think he was asking, "Is the new show good?" And the question yeah. the look at 
any screenshot of it, and you'll be like, I'm not watching that. That's how I felt about it. I wish Tom was here. (laughs) This is the one moment. It looks really bad. (laughs) It's like ugly as fuck. Um, They're like, no, 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 not not that one. Well, that was that was an actual like child Digimon show. This is like a different thing. Okay, yo, whatever. We don't need to get on a big Digimon thing. Did Let's. You let me wait. Let me tell you an anecdote. Let me tell you an anecdote okay. from my childhood. I remember mm. uh, one time. I do, okay. I don't remember why this happened, but I got sent to the school guidance counselor because mm. I was I don't know in distress about something. <laughs> and who cares? And I yeah, went. And right. I remember going to the guidance. <laughs> and what? And she like sat me down and was talking to me. And I remember in hindsight that I ended up just sitting down and talking to my guidance counselor for a long time about how hard it was for me to decide whether I liked Pokemon or Digimon <laughs> better. <laughs> I, I, I remember I did a, 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 a school, like, like, like write whatever kind of essay that you want. Or not an essay, but just, like, mm. like a short story in, like, sixth grade or whatever. And I wrote mine in the style of Homestuck, and I had to explain <laughs> to my teacher what Homestuck was. Oh, my was. God. It I can't, really I can't believe oh. Munchies, like, in Homestuck was Munchies' childhood. I feel you know so what? old. Yeah. That, that is weird. That is it, weird. It, it, it makes sense, though, doesn't it? Think about yeah, it yeah. and look at me. Sure. I'm a one-to-one one there is, there is one, there's definitely one thing uh, one about being a child. Yeah. That that is a huge advantage over being an adult. Is that adults will never get it. Children, <laughs> yeah. they get it. That, that's they literally it, true, Nate. That's literally I what I believe. That is true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've well, understood. That 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 I, I feel <laughs> very much so that right. like occasionally a new thing will come up and people right. are saying like a word and I'm like. Well, now I guess I'm an adult because I don't get it. Like when when to. Munchie said "fleek" before, I had a fucking crisis. I know. I, I, I don't. Fleek. I don't say <laughs> my, "fleek." I said my, it because it's retarded. I don't my, like say "fleek." fleek, fleek the funny thing fleek. about that, Ben, is that "fleek" is an old ass slang too. Is it? It's, it is. Well, it's, 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 it's just it's, yeah. it's not even I, I, in I'm, anymore. It's like already my, out. I, Jesus. I said the context of a podcast being called "Is it fleek or is it gay?" I don't actually use the term <laughs> "fleek" to describe things. Well, that was M- what Michelle? made it so funny to me is that it's like an already dead slang, but it's funny my, that yeah. Ben had never even heard of it. I mean, my, I've, my I've girlfriend heard it. is I have five heard years it. younger than me, but well, I don't, okay, but I don't get it because I'm an adult, and adults will never. My, get my it. girlfriend right. is five years younger than me, and she oh, continually shit. refers to oh hitting God. the whip, and I have no fucking idea what she's <laughs> talking <laughs> about. The car is. What does this mean? What does this mean? A car I don't is a whip, so she probably means go to the car. Does it mean go, go for a drive? The whip? What? Um, oh, I'm gonna no, this right it's now. like a, it's like a dance move or something that I don't understand oh. or comprehend. It's, I mean, uh, well, I don't know anything about dance. You moves. do, you do. This like is a um, bunch of like uh, white dudes <laughs> trying to talk about what is probably an urban dance culture. Well, but but she knows, and she's urban, like white Asian urban, urban, urban dance, dance culture. Is it an urban one? <laughs> Come right yeah, out and yeah. say it, coward. <laughs> All right, guys, let's let's get down to brass tacks here. I want to hear retarded stories of how you fucked up as children. That's what I want to hear about. I, I've never done it before. The only the only time I've ever <laughs> fucked up is uh, never. I was trying Actually, to think. I, have, oh, I was trying I, to think, I, 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 I remember the time it. you fucked up when you when you didn't carry the monsters podcast. I, uh, That's true. You, right, I, I didn't, didn't, about about I didn't carry it. When I didn't right. carry it, that was I, a really odd. I have me. a better question for everybody. Okay. I want to know: uh, when you were kids, did you want to grow up? No. No. I, no, 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 I, 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 I have a big story about this. I have a big story about this. I'll just say, I don't know, maybe... Question. I like that question. It well, is a good question. I want to hear Munchie's big me. story, but uh, me and Nate, you go first, and then I'll go. I was just going to say Munchie. yes. I was just going to say yes. Uh, why? Though, uh, like, I reached that at a certain point because of the deep frustration. Like, you know how teenagers just want to be able to drive? They want to be able to, you know, do that, That's stuff. not true. That's me, not it true, by the way. years before I fucking got the motivation. Even Millennial childs are post-car. Millennial childs are post-car and really no one not wants cards. I, I wanted to be an adult because I wanted to be able to like do stuff and seize control of the of the destiny of my life. That's that's what that's I wanted. That's the opposite. The reason I wanted to be a kid is that I wanted to relinquish control and not mm-hmm. have to think about yeah, anything. I just wanted to not okay. be responsible. I, like, who, well, that's who the wants advantage to be of childhood for sure. For stuff? I, I do, so I can run my life and win at life. For me, <laughs> though, I was, I... A, a lot of my relationship with like being mm-hmm. th- seeing myself as like not wanting to grow up was that I really hated this idea that like everyone supposedly was going to 
grow up like that that people would always tell me oh you're not going to care about toys when you're like an adult or you're not you're going to be you're yeah. all you're going to care about is girls <laughs> once you're an adult and like all those things yeah. would piss yeah, me yeah, off because i was like you that can't happens. tell me but yeah. li- literally oh, all of exactly. them happened like i eventually i remember like when the day when i could not bring myself to care about toys anymore and it was just well, like well they they, they say you won't care now. about toys but then i look up from my computer and i see more anime figurines i don't even I, i'm already over anime figurines i don't even like them i keep them somewhere else in the house right yeah. now yeah. to look at the dude you know, I, 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 <laughs> I, I had a similar attitude of like whenever fucking people told me oh well you know when you're this age you're gonna be like this i'm just like i mean like maybe but you don't you're not gonna fucking decide you know i will decide what i would like i will make those decisions thank you very much i don't think they know me i had s- mm-hmm. similar Mage, go yeah, yeah i had similar sort of uh experiences when i when i was uh, younger i had people tell me like oh when you grow up like you're gonna grow out of those Pokemon. You're gonna you're gonna like get a job yeah. and not draw <laughs> anymore. You're gonna like you oh, know yeah. start <laughs> caring about things, job. other things. And I'm like, <laughs> no. And it, here I am. <laughs> Liking Pokemon and drawing. It's a pretty equal split. It's always a pretty equal split of things that you have grown out of, and also things that you've retained interest in. Right. Like, like, so. like, like a lot of the shit that, like, I, I wasn't really told that I would grow out of a lot of things, other than the fact that I would probably mellow out. Which, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know, you know, I for think what it's worth, it. you have mellowed out considerably. So, Is that like, true? it's that just true. that Munchie has mellowed out from like Christ consciousness levels way <laughs> above like human comprehension well, to well, something Munchie, we can see on oh, the visible. You're making me sad, dude. <laughs> well, no, no, Munchie, Munchie, don't be sad. It's like Munchie is like a prism that that light Col- of the anyway, universe Col- is shining prism. through, and then yeah. and but you you've refined yourself to be a more focused beam. Yeah, uh, I would say so that. You, you know, give and take one to say focused. something around the more same time I did. I think. Yes. MLP reviewer um, give and take, <laughs> please tell us. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, I have not heard him be called that in full. Uh, sorry, all it's in, in my head. I still say give. <laughs> No, Who told you a... that name? <laughs> I haven't been called. Uh, I haven't heard that I... name in years. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I've been trying to think of my mm-hmm. childhood, and it's it's strange <laughs> it's that I can't gone. really remember what people were talking about. Like mm-hmm. to me, like you know, I don't remember things that I was told as a kid necessarily. I just remember like mm-hmm. general feelings of of stuff that I that it was good. It was good when stuff happened, and I want <laughs> yeah. I, I want to have that again. But then, you know, I I, I guess oh. I just have a, a bad memory. Um, and, uh, I'm 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 not coming up with it. I'm coming up with like brands like oh Bionicle and Beyblade and fucking yeah uh, okay Bugs. Okay. I define myself exclusively with brands. Those yeah, the kind of guy I am. when I wake we, up, I, mean, I just want to slam back my Coca Cola. But I can't remember what like I was like as a kid and whether I wanted to grow up or not. Right. I, I I distinctly remember as a teenager, looking around at people like getting uh, driving licenses and cars and being still teenagers you know at school but like acting mm-hmm. adults and they 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 had suits i mean they had school uniforms <laughs> but they but they would like you know like i'm cool because i wear this suit thing it's kind of like a suit right. and i was like i i being a they creative were a fleek, person is what you're saying. yes i don't know what yeah. that means and they <laughs> I, I, I re- distinctly remember feeling an aversion to being an adult in the way that they were doing it. Like, I, mm. I believed you could be an adult and still be a kid because it's more fun that way. I remember... Yeah. Like, just to be into stupid shit that... Because mm-hmm. even if even if it doesn't mean you're popular, it, it's still cool because you like it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's all I can mm-hmm. re- really remember about, like, childhood yearnings of adulthood. I remember, mm. I remember uh, if, it, like, a lot of um, cartoons at the time, for, aimed at females specifically, were all about, you know, fashion and makeup and stuff, and I had, mm-hmm, like, a very mm-hmm. sort of distinct aversion to them, because I never got into makeup and fashion, I still haven't, and I just, it's it always bothered me, like, I sort of tolerated the ones that had something else to do, like, uh, as ashamed as I admit it, I did like Winx because it had magic, not just like fashion and stuff. <laughs> but like, uh, Winx was lit, yo. <laughs> I, d- yeah. I didn't like the pressure, of, like, one of the reasons I didn't want to grow up as well, I didn't like the pressure of having to dress nice and put on makeup and think about all those things. Yeah. I just, I just, I just. The goddamn to. patriarchy is trying to keep you down. <laughs> Fuck that. <Yeah. laughs> Fuck that. 
<laughs> I, I but before I get into, I, I should get into my my big old story about how I became the the, the boy that you see before the you. big baby boy himself. Yeah. right. right. Uh, I, I would like to say to Mage, uh, is it true that being a woman is awful? Not in the sense like <laughs> it, it, like it's bad, but just since like you have to like do so much shit, just like right. on the reg. I, that like, does I sound don't. That would true. seem awful. I, d- I, I don't. Okay, I, don't. I don't do cool. <laughs> Yeah, Mage I'm purple. I'm not a female. Well, that's Mage tough. has taken the Ben approach of just shirking all societal yeah, expectations. That, you know, that's, that's living the alternative if you lifestyle. Just, if you dude. just be, yeah. yeah, if you just live an alternative lifestyle and become a weird <laughs> hermit, no one expects anything of you, and you don't have to do anything. Um, and nothing guys, matters please draw. Anymore. I want to see fan art of Ben living his alternative lifestyle, just in whatever mm. way you imagine that. Please, that's what <laughs> it I could, want. That could mean any number. Of it could things. mean yeah, anything. <laughs> it could mean anything. Too, that's too a, <laughs> there's no <laughs> definition for what that means. It could be I, literally anything. I do have a question uh, though, guys. Like, hmm, how are yeah. you different from your child self? I was hmm. as a ch- okay. I was pretty similar as a child. I was a little more of a spaz. And I cared about things more, and that was, mm. and I'm embarrassed of that in hindsight. Like what you care about things very, very. Slightly I cared at about all. like, you know, what was going on around me, and that was a mistake. Oh, uh, yeah. You, 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 you've you've turned into a fucking adult, dude. You turn into an adult, and you're no you're no longer hashtag relatable to me, a child. Like, what am I gonna, <laughs> like, really like, walk difference. around and like things happen yeah, around what, me, and I'm gonna turn around like, oh, oh, look at that. Oh, what's going on? Fuck, who cares? Fuck it. But now it now matter. the bombs drop around Ben everywhere, and he yeah. doesn't even deign to look. Yeah. At it. Ooh, simply... when, when Donald goes drunk, Ben's not even gonna realize. Yeah. He's gonna be living in a tr- in a Trump styled society, not realizing yeah. that it's gone full drunk on him. Being <laughs> Being straight white cis male, he won't even notice the difference, no. When the bombs fucking drop, his pristine, (laughs) pasty white condition will make him immune to all radiation. Right. (laughs) So, regarding the question of uh, difference between childhood and desire to grow up, Mm. for me, I can answer both with one line. I am 100% goal-focused since my my conception. I can remember... I hate what? you. Please continue. <laughs> I've never heard that that exact sentence before. So I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't, but what do you mean? So like <laughs> many of my earliest memories is me thinking what will be like my like all I would do as a kid is just think of like overarching lifetime plans for something, right? I imagine if I had like grown up in like an engineer family were like like I had like an inventor dad and mom I probably would have gotten into engineering like if I like like had an actual social life you know um and yeah. if I had like been the fucking child of like some sort of internet content creator or some shit I would have just gotten onto YouTube way earlier right so I didn't really care about growing up or not growing up I just wanted to have a purpose and so the difference between myself then and now is that I do have a purpose and plenty of goals. I, so okay. before that, yeah. I was just totally aimless, not knowing what to do with myself. I I also had no purpose or goal in life as a mm, kid. Mm. Um, That's pretty much what I was going to say too for mine. I just, mean, I, I'm way more disciplined now. And I mean, I, I guess in college I, I had a vague idea that I was going to like go to grad school and like become a physicist. Um, mm. So I guess I had a goal at some point. Like but... personality wise, were you similar or? You know, different from how you are now? I think I was... I think right now, the me that exists now is more like like myself as a child than, huh. like, the me that existed as, like, a teenager in, like, my early 20s. Because, like, that guy sucks. Com- completely that guy sucks. dependent on others around you. Is, no, you're... What? You're, you're very much like yourself as a teenager in certain specific ways. Hmm. You're very... I mean, you've always been very, like... Hmm. You're an absolutist, is what you are, and you've you always so? you always have. Been. I mean, I, yeah. I am now. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I, well, I mean, I mean, you, difference... you expressed it in different ways before. Jesus. Yeah. I, I like the to... biggest difference between me as a kid and and now is that really the biggest difference for me. I, I don't think I was very different from childhood through adulthood. It's more like after becoming a brony celebrity, I changed because mm. I became yeah. able to like talk to people and be social and like. I think that I act very differently now from how I did in, like, you know, 2012. But 2012 me was almost exactly the same person as, like, two-year-old I remember videos mm, of you mm. in 2012 saying, Man, 
I was never knowing how to talk to people until the last couple of years. I, so I'm just yeah, expecting well. another update to this in three years, <laughs> saying, oh yeah, Becoming... I wasn't able to talk to people until like 2017. Well, Be- I would say that my perception of how, like, what I meant by a sentence like that changes changed a lot. Like, right. when I said able to talk to people then, I probably meant at all. Whereas, you know, now I mean, like, I can socially go out and, like, start conversations with strangers, you know. Becoming oh. a becoming a mildly, a very mildly successful <laughs> internet art person, achieve, achieving a little bit of success in that arena has changed Went straight me. to Ben's head. Has, he's a, has he's a broken cha- man. It has, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, basically, it has changed me mm. in ways that are probably net negatives um because i have found because no because i have found ways to survive and and to right. uh, to buy mm. without interacting with anyone um right. and i have leaned into that and I, and i think i need to choose i think i need to choose am i well, going to get my life that, on track ben, because and find a balance like you, or am i just going hey, to shut up, the fuck up or am i just going am i going to get my life on track and find a balance or am i just going to lean into it and completely become a hermit mm. a hermit nothing master ben, but, uh, as I, we I, all know this wait, is much i already was going to do my yeah, thing right after first. him then okay, he go fast. had to I finish still want to answer the question myself yeah, well, okay, I just think it's later. funny that Ben would accuse himself of, like, not interacting with people because the way that you do your career involves, like, extensive social networking. Like, Twitter doesn't count. Twitter's... What about Discord? You're in, like, a like se- you run, like, several of them. Ah, it's all that's, baby shit. That's it's all literal baby shit internet, compared to talking guys, to people in person. We all know that internet friends aren't real friends, <laughs> am I right? Of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, uh, gr- growing up, uh, this is this is also, again, I'm post-toys and I'm also post-friends. Uh, mm. Because growing up, like, I basically only had internet friends, so there's no real distinction to me. There's There's no, like difference really between me going down the street and like talking to someone online like like emotional wise like i don't feel any differently i, I feel the same as, wait, as how you're I have to, I have the lines of the meat and the wired bro i have to back i have to back up i ha- I, I do interact ben, pause, with people pause what no mage she said her audacity God. crashed what oh oh yeah oh no technical difficulties mage fucked up huh but it's okay we came back Okay, Ben was saying something. Feel free to pick it up. Was I? Yeah. All right. Uh, if mean, you can't you remember, were. who cares? Uh, yeah. Who cares? I don't, the the I don't thing we were on. The thing we were on uh-huh. currently was uh, how Mage do you feel nice. different between yeah. being a child and being an adult? And I haven't right. gone yet. And Mage hasn't gone yet. Yeah. So, okay. Well, if you guys just want to grab it, I mean, yeah. I, I I wanted to ha- to say that um, mm-hmm. the difference between me as a child and me now is mostly. Like, my, my sense of humor is basically exactly the same. And, and all of the things I like are, like, you know, I, I still love all the things I liked as YouTube a kid. YouTube poops. Yeah. <laughs> fuck it. I love YouTube poops. Pooping they're while so watching funny. YouTube, they're, you know. They're very, very good. <laughs> um, but, like, the differences are, like, I've become more confident, which is obviously good. And, mm-hmm. like, being able to get over depression is is another thing that I've just... Uh, through like the am- the amount of times it's happened, I've just like the okay, amount of time I'm... he's died in Dark Souls is really hard and give <laughs> to getting over depression. Yeah. Uh, but like overcoming I, as as uh, Dun- in yeah, terms of like having... not having like a focus as a kid, like I I never knew mm-hmm. what I wanted to do. I yeah. always had multiple passions and multiple skills that were good, and people would praise me at multiple skills. And I what was a like, well, brag, which one? Am I right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it. This is a good thing, but it's like it, it mm-hmm. causes a problem because when you're when you have when you are good as a kid at multiple mm-hmm. things and you're praised equally, you don't know what you should do. And yeah, yeah, I I had like no focus, and I would never right. actually got like very good at any one thing. Hippo was like Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way. He was too <laughs> talented, and everyone hated. I was him. too <laughs> talented to succeed. But the thing, yeah, the thing, the thing right. I've learned, the thing that change, changed changed uh, like a few years ago, is that I just realized you don't fucking need a focus. You don't need to know what you're doing. Right. You just need to do stuff, um. and then you'll die, and then people will piece it together for you. You just here. have to start doing stuff, right? And then die. Is that what you're getting yeah. at? Is that? Yeah, you just no, you no, just start. Like, no, just kill yourself. No, no, that's what I'm you saying. start. I, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> and you'll die. I think, what, I think what you're saying is that, like, you don't even if you don't know what your end goal is, 
you can't like wait until you know what it is yeah, yeah. It's, start like, oh yeah the, the, the best you thing is just to right not, now yeah it's to not, like if you don't know what you're doing like i didn't know what i was doing and i was agonizing over what i should get into what right. i should what i should forge ahead with I just realized that it's it's just a big waste of time and, and anxiety right. like, just to, to like even people, think about mm-hmm. it. It's like people that are like, I'm gonna start writing my book, I'm gonna start drawing my comic or whatever, but I'm gonna I'm gonna like flesh out the world. I'm gonna spend like Never. weeks and months yeah. and years just like it. writing notes, fleshing out the world, and yeah. it has to be yeah. complete before I actually start. This or or even my, worse, my, I mean, um, you don't even get. Yeah, this well, is okay, a whatever. this is a yeah, tip yeah, that you hear my, writers uh, talk about all. Well, I was just going to say, my webcomic mm-hmm. site, apsadventures.site, yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> is, like, exactly this whole, like, it doesn't matter how mm-hmm. good it is. I'm just happy that I'm making it, and it's cool. Yeah. It's that's fucking what, sick. Um, that's, what, that's what Beast Capades was. I just started it with no, with no yeah, real plan. That's great. And the plan right. developed. Gib, could you please explain to me the origin of Pumpk? I've always is it just like your avatar oh, was the was the pumpkin? Um, and then... In fucking Inktober 2016, uh-huh. I think. Damn, okay. uh, I was just like, I'll just draw because I wanted to get. I always want to get better at drawing, you know. Inktober mm. is an excuse. I drew like one thing on the first day, and then on the second day, I drew a pumpkin girl, and I was mm-hmm. like, dude, fucking sick. And I really like <laughs> more like plump. <laughs> Got him. Uh, Got him. Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Uh, please and, draw and, plump, everyone. No, we need plump do fan not. art. Alter. No, we do. No, we don't. Do. I, 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 I'm really oh. happy, by the way, that um, I, uh-huh. I invented the the pun gorgeous because she's a gorgeous. <laughs> so if yeah, she call, she's she's gorgeous. Uh, anyway, yeah, that yeah, that was the that origin. Yeah, I just drew it and then I turned yeah, it into okay. a comic. Yeah, you don't like need that. to start mm-hmm. off with a grand plan for your whole life, and that's actually one of the good things about adulthood. If you can get yourself functional, is that you either have to get a job. Or you're allowed to be a neat, which is depressing in itself. So let that be the motivation for your first initial goal. Make yourself at least relatively independent you know? by funding your life through some form of art, any form of art. I would not have gotten onto YouTube, by the way, if I could have made just as much money doing anything else within the same time frame. But I got That's... onto YouTube because it was it was the it was the thing I liked the most that I felt most plausible in being able to make money from. I feel like there's something there. I feel like there's something there to that because I too, I felt like my approach to like YouTube content specifically. I want to have a go at answering the question. By the way, we we you certainly will get one, mate. Just uh, let me. I, I just want to respond to this point directly. Okay. It was just like there there's something there of like when you're a child, it's like you live in sort of a fantasy world of possibilities. Uh, and like for me, that was like making big like best anime ever's and like nothing else, and just Ugh. taking as long as it took to get those done. But adulthood is more of like you you selectively cut off avenues that are not practical, and right. like you you intentionally limit yourself, and the way, or, or you give yourself a more pragmatic way to survive, which is what I've done with like Mia Mafa and Weago and stuff. It's just an excuse to make content as kind of a as kind of an acceptance that like okay, it's true, like I can't actually survive just making crazy big old projects every six months it, it won't work when Nate, so I, ghost I, I, you know I, 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 I just One had the same reaction that i assume people who just heard about pearl harbor being bombed had so oh, yeah. you're saying that weagawa is going to be like your only content now like that's no, what's no, gonna no, no, happen no, absolutely absolutely not okay. weagawa has always <gasps> been we, weagawa is a means to an end it is a it is a support structure a scaffolding upon which i can build my more complicated my Jesus complex Christ. projects okay. all right that's all what it is do not not fear people do not okay. fear ghost in the shell eventually okay 2030 <laughs> okay okay as for me uh yeah. i feel like um in some ways i'm sort of the same person but there's definitely a big difference of how i used to be as a kid and how i am now um i'm specifically talking about my preteen years so like legit mm-hmm. a kid like like 11 12 as opposed 11 to us who younger, were illegitimately younger. a kid and fake <laughs> <laughs> no no yeah. like you know when you say a kid sometimes people you know think 14 16 and stuff uh I mean, I'm talking about like a childhood deer Every, you know like, like under, a kid like an under, animal everyone under 30 is a you kid to go. me <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you're so fucking I mean, wicked and nihilistic and cool 12 and wow. under. I turn 30 in April you cuck that's right <laughs> oh, I forgot damn. Ben is gay. Well, and Ben dead. says cuck now, guys. Here, l- l- let Mage go so I can well, make fun of Ben more after she's done, and I won't feel bad about cutting off Mage. Indeed, indeed. Yes. Okay. So yeah, when I was a kid, I was I was very extroverted, I'd say, 
I my my mom had to like for years she had to teach me not to greet strangers because in my mind I was like oh hey a person I should greet them because that's the polite thing to do so I would greet people even random strangers on the street and she had to teach it out of me for for several years because I refused because that was rude how can you not greet someone when you see them when you make eye contact you must greet them break that curiosity and friendliness out of your child right now beat that shit out of them make sure them scared to communicate with other humans. That's the way to go. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't go. scared of, of people like at all. I, I, mm-hmm. like I said, I'd greet them and I would fight other kids as well. Like Dragon Ball Z was a big thing, but even before Dragon Ball Z, I would like fight people, uh, either for fun <laughs> you, or just wait, wait. <laughs> Mage was fighting people before Dragon Ball Z made it cool. You guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, the, the, the thing is, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm getting to. It, but yeah, like um, Dragon Ball Z did did make fighting cool. We, we had like this sort of like. I'd say, like, it's almost like a roleplay. We all assigned names of the characters, and I was, uh, was it K-18, I think? The girl, the the cyborg, the the, the girl one, the blonde one. Android 18. Yeah. Uh, it, she was called K-18, oh. I think. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I was, I was assigned that name, and we would, like, sort of play fight, but the, but the fighting was, I mean... But the fighting was real, and, <laughs> and, and, and the bruises <laughs> were all too were real. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. and we would, we would legit fight. <laughs> I would, I would take on the guys, guys stronger Dude. than me, like, bigger than me. Oh, yeah. Um, I once almost won against, like, a teenager when I was, like... I think 10, but he cheated. He had to cheat to win against oh me, God. to win against I, the I, little girl. I have a story about that, but I'll wait till you're done. Just bring, bring it back to teen fighting, because this is a big thing. <laughs> yeah, like, it, was, it was snowy, and he used snow against me, and it, that's how he won. <laughs> <Faggot. laughs> that's not I, I, I know this Pocket is... sand is no. well-sanctioned. I want to, like, I want to, like, acknowledge the, like, weird, like, cultural... Uh, prejudice I have, because or just like uh, what do you call it? The privilege goggles. Whenever you talk about being a childhood in your home country, I just imagine Lithuania as like this like bombed out third world nation with like maybe like <laughs> two streets and it, and it's all color coded <laughs> just like Mage's avatar. It's all purple. I just imagine that every time. <laughs> And uh, everyone's yeah, fighting on the street. Town. You're thinking of cop kill town. Look yeah, yeah like, exactly you know? like I mean, it. cathedrals you, you, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're not completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's very popular. <laughs> no, it's terrible. I mean, I grew up... A lot of dead cops in Lithuania. A lot of dead cops. Yeah. I grew up in post-USSR Lithuania. There were, like, a lot of Russians around, a lot of uh, yeah. chaos, I'd say. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I, I grew up legit with, like, sometimes no electricity and brown running water and stuff. So, oh God! I, I thought you were gonna be like, no, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> it was. Yeah, I, me too. Yeah. Fucking no, mage was... is a feral child. I know, right? <laughs> I was. I was. I would. I would run around barefoot. And your anime and... wasn't even dubbed right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like is that? I, 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 I ran, when I was a kid, I ran around barefooted and wielding knives. <laughs> so. <laughs> Whoa, it is. Whoa. It's like Cop Kill Town. It's like Neo Milwaukee. Yeah. Just we're just kids running around with like weapons and this. You would you would feel stuff. right at home in Slime City. You would feel yeah. right at home. I That's have to true. say, uh, for years up until this very moment, anytime we talk about Lithuania, that was the picture I was getting. But I thought that's clearly me projecting, like, I mean, like no, it's, like God. <laughs> It's a oh, lot better God. now. <laughs> okay. But, but, oh, only adults run around the streets naked with knives. That's only <laughs> no, hey, my, okay. my, I, my neighborhood uh-huh, was uh-huh. terrible as well. Like, I heard rumors. I never... Okay, I I did see drunk people stumbling about, but I did hear rumors mm-hmm. about, like, uh, people, like, using drugs and stuff and selling drugs around and <laughs> all, sorts of, yeah, all sorts of weird, drugs. you know, weird, nasty people. But, like, I never really saw them, and thank goodness I didn't. I did see discarded needles here and there, but... Uh, that's beside the point. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, um, nice. Yeah, yeah, back to happy childhood times when I was a good kid. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, like I would, I would fight. Silence. I would. <laughs> <laughs> I would. Yeah, I, I would. I would fight people. I, I was. I wasn't scared to pick fights with people. I think Fuck I. Yeah. My my record is like two two bloody noses. <laughs> well, Damn. Wow. Dude, well, what about what about Christ. now, mate? Why didn't you, you looking you to start some you, shit? You, I feel like you got shortchanged in the Royal Rumble. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. Well, God, I, I would really I would like to, to, oh, to put a call out to like the the fan artists. I want somebody to draw like feral little mage with dual wielding knives in the in the purple <laughs> streets. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, wait, <laughs> the yeah. 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 
<laughs> yeah. how, did, how, did you become, how did you become the How did you become the funny like girl timid like draw fan art girl as opposed I know, to like, right? That's the, like the power member. of fucking artistic expression, right? We're all speaking the same language of like like fluffy Tumblr shit, but then like yeah. we have like totally we're like actually totally different people from totally different fucking worlds. <laughs> it kind yeah. of blows my mind every time I hear shit like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. How did it? How did you like? Were you always just like you, you were always kicking people's asses, but you were still you were still like this? Uh, no, okay. I I was I was still generally good natured. Like um, the very first job that I wanted to have that I remember was a veterinarian. But then I learned Aww. what a veterinarian had to do, and then I was like, oh, my stomach's weak. I almost fainted the first time we took our cat to the veterinarian. So oh, that God. that dream died quick, and um. Whenever me and my friends were bored, I I would get get like these schemes on how to help like the environment and nature and stuff. It wasn't because the TV told me so. I thought, hey, you know what would be fun if we would take these brooms and take these rakes and clean up the neighborhood. That'd be a fun project for the day. And <laughs> you know, Mage, that reminds me. Just there's a story my mom tells me about me as a child, yeah. and it's that she just she was, she was taking me to um. Uh, to summer camp, and I was like, "Oh, I don't want to go. It's, uh, I'm gonna be sad, and I don't, I don't know anybody there." And so she drops me off, and then this is from her perspective. And then at the end of the day, she comes by to pick me up, and and at the end of the day, he, she's like, "Nate, come here," and like I I crawl out of the woods, <laughs> and I have like my belt stuffed with pine cones, and I'm like, I've got like four sticks strapped to my back, and I'm dual wielding these <laughs> these big old limbs, and I'm like, "Mom." I'm in the middle of something. I need to come back later. Like we're dueling right now. The the, the shit is real. Go away. Uh, that's dueling. and that's, 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 that's what happened. Do stick duels perfect. in the woods. Stick duels are the best. Stick I, duels are the stick shit. Stick duels were a major part of my whole childhood. Yes. Where me yeah. and my duels. friends would go my out bro- into the, yeah. we'd go out into the mm-hmm. woods and just like try to find sticks that are about the size of swords. Yeah, of and course. you know, come back to the house and fight with them. We we would have a pretty sizable collection because if they were good, you'd hold on to them until they break. Yeah, yeah. So like, we'd keep like a pile of all our really good sticks by the side of the house, and then uh, my friend mm-hmm. Marcus, who is like a like a fucking built like action guy, like he just loved to play around with like stuff like this. Anyways, like he would just like mm-hmm. film videos of himself doing kung fu and shit in high school, and. Uh, like, so we would just go into the backyard when he came over, and because he was, like, really quiet and literally just wouldn't talk or say anything, we'd be like, I guess we're just gonna fight with sticks. That's what we'll do when he comes over. So, uh, <laughs> every time he came died. over, we'd just fight with sticks until one of us got hurt and didn't want to do it anymore. My that's, friend, yeah, that's how it goes. My friend that I had I, in high school told this mm-hmm. story. He would tell the story like it was true, and no one believed it, so it was really funny. <laughs> he, said that, <laughs> he said that some, like, some, like, dojo master stick fighter had like come to his house one day and knocked on his door looking Whoa. for him specifically and challenged well, who was this which one was this ben Can uh, you give the first name he started with a j okay okay yeah i got gotcha. um and then he uh he uh and then he had challenged him just specifically and he had dueled him in his backyard at stick fighting and he had won damn uh, <laughs> so you know, damn Jay. Th- th- yeah. This is unrelatable to me. Like this, this stick wielding experience. Not only because I don't live next to a forest, but also like, like again, I'm post going outside. Like going outside was yeah. not an option when I was growing up. Like you couldn't do it anymore. Like we was it dangerous or something, or was it was a combination. It's really hot in California. <laughs> it, it was a combination okay. of it being drilled into us. Like don't go outside. There are strangers there, and also right. like there are video I games mean, now. Munchie, that was a yeah. thing when I was a kid right like, way yeah. before i was been a thing, kid like, as well. since, like what the late 80s at least okay yeah, well i, I think that. the stick fighting i just gotta very briefly mention my brother got big into stick mm-hmm. fighting what he would specifically do is go to the hardware store get a big mm-hmm. old plank and then sand it down to where it becomes like an actual weapon and i think like oh, if, you, if you honored him in battle and combat with a regular stick he would eventually like get one for you and help you make your own so i ended up getting <laughs> one but yeah i, I think Whoa. i think i need to take a Dang. step back to point out that the ages that i would have stick fought would have been ages like 12 to 17, which is the period of time I have known Munchie. So mm. I know what Munchie's yeah. been doing as opposed to stick fighting. He's been in the PCP <laughs> and drawing yeah. fan art and sending me pickup lines on t- Tumblr. Ah, oh, those are the fucking days, dude. Whatever. Those are the fucking days. I, I still, like, like reminisce and think about how, like, that's how we met, Edgy. That's how all of this happened, was I sent you, hey, are you an archaeologist? Because I've got a bone for you. Bone to pick, pick. Yeah. for you to examine. Yeah, there yeah. it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> I love it. 
Yeah, we, we uh, should like have a hey, whole section uh, of this podcast talking about the death of toys, the death of going outside, and the rise of video games. Like that needs to be something we talk about in depth. I think. It, 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 in, instead of sure. like doing stick fighting, all that all that like I did with my friends was just play Smash Bros, which like is the same amount of like I mean, pettiness I did that and, and at like the same time too, though. Like I I yeah. could play Smash Bros since I was like eight because I had the N sixty four. Well, it, it, it's just I, less whiz, It's just wh- whizmical. It's less whiz- stick whizmical. fighting was whizmical. like a whizmical. younger man's whizmical. game for me. Video games are an old man man's game in, in my mind mm-hmm. like uh yeah like when i was when i was like nine and like younger at summer camp maybe, maybe between like nine and like 12 or something those were like peak stick fighting years mm-hmm. uh, as i recall them uh but hey hey i've got a story which is it, it's relevant to this question of what were you like as a child versus an adult only this is how i was exactly the same and i know i've told similar stories but i i, I don't believe i've ever told this one and i think everyone will appreciate it greatly Now, I don't remember exactly what was going through my mind at the time, but I was around, I was somewhere between like 12 and 15 at this time, something in that range. And so it it was nighttime and it was summertime. And so um, I don't know what was going on, but like my my parents went up to bed and they're like, Nate, walk our dog, which was Buddy at the time, I I think. Uh, Buddy. Um, yeah, buddy. Buddy was my muse, <laughs> uh, and he uh, they they uh, uh, three quarters Pekingese, one quarter poodle. For those wondering, he was a, he was a glorious. <laughs> I'm sure the audience was was just dying to know. I'm adding a richness to the scene. Yeah, so imagine yeah. me it's with this a little this little dog emperor, uh, you know, on the leash, you know, <laughs> taking a shit, and and here I stand. So like the way that my that our backyard was set up, like my parents' room is kind of like up, uh, like really high on the house, and like there's like. Three layers down is where the grass Jesus is behind the house. Jesus Christ, what kind of house did you live in? I mean, like, you know, there's the basement, then the first floor, then the second floor, and there's an attic, but they, you know, they're in the second floor, not the attic. Okay. It, like, there, there's a hill in the front of the house the basement, that doesn't go to the, the back, the so it gets lower. Okay. Okay. In the back. Okay. okay, okay. Yeah, that, okay. that's right. It wasn't a, I mean, it is a very big house, but whatever. Um, uh, incidentally, my parents are selling that soon, but whatever. <laughs> Nate, uh, get to so the, the fucking point. point. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. This is the point. So I, I'm walking, buddy. And I don't know. I don't know what was going through my mind. I think it had been a late night of watching anime. I think oh, what God, that's b- how been going all terrible on. ideas started. That's right. That's right. Was it so, Adult Swim? Maybe, were you and, of course, it was adult definitely swim. Adult Swim. Yeah. It was definitely Adult Swim, or maybe Toonami or something. One, one of my one of my shows, one of my stories was on, and I don't know what was going through my mind. But I was I was thinking about the future, and I was thinking about like what I was going to do with myself as life went on, and like I wasn't talking to Buddy or anything. I was talking to myself, and I'm just like, I'm just like. I'm not, I'm not going to be a cog in the machine. I, I'm not going to be a cog in the machine. I'm going to achieve my destiny. I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm going to make it in this world and be important. So, like, I was just, like, talking to myself loudly, just, like, repeating these, like, mantras mm-hmm. to myself based on, like, I don't know, a Trigun episode I just watched or <laughs> yeah, Cowboy yeah, Bebop yeah, sure. or something. I just uh, love and so, yeah. like you do. That's... Like that's Were you that's what was going on. Were you wearing your Vampire Hunter D hat while you did this? <laughs> I, was, I was, I you know, I should have been. I should have been. If I thought to gather, you know, I would have. The way you not much happened story. in that story. Not much happened. Well, no, in that no, story. but this. Okay, well, this this is the important part. Uh, it's that afterward. So the next day, uh, you know, I'm just at breakfast. You know, whatever, and I'm 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 sitting there. I'm eating breakfast, and then mom, my mom, just leans down over the countertop. Looks at me with her big eyes, the way they look at an oncoming train, and says, oh, uh, reference. "So, not going to be a cog in the machine, no! huh?" <laughs> <laughs> Fucking they had heard. Awful. They had heard everything. That's they had so heard all terrible. my words. Oh, that's of so how could you do you that gun? to someone? How could you do that to your she son? Just, to your I she, she, I would have died right on the spot. I would have died I, right there in my fucking Cheerios. Speaking of embarrassing Nate's stories, will you tell us about yeah. the story of the um. The talent yes. show? The talent show? Yes. Is that oh, the one? Jesus. Okay, yes. I, I don't know if I've ever told this, so I'll, I'll tell this one quicker than that one. Uh, uh, so it was just, in high school, I thought I was the shit. And this was like, um, but, I think which it was like you were, evidently. freshman year. Yeah. Which I was. I mean, it was either freshman or sophomore year, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, point was, so in high school... <laughs> oh, God, I'm, still, were, I'm still hurting. I'm yeah, still hurting uh, from the climax of the last one. It, it was absolutely devastating. And I'm sure Dad had heard it too, and they just, this colored their, they're just, they're oh, like, they must just talk about imagine it. them Dude, up there. Imagine they're up like, in their the, room. The, the, the night, they, they heard I'm, you, and then they talked about it, like, yeah. like, like uh, when they were in yeah. bed together. I'm, That's I'm right, mad they were up there I'm listening. I'm mad at them what for Nate just, said. I'm upset with them. <laughs> Uh, it was it was cruel. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing they could have they could have said like, Nate, we can fucking, hear you. Shut the hell they up." They could have just not said anything. 
Well, uh, they okay, didn't I guess that's true. That the, the, they know, didn't that, have to. That story slay reminded me, that way. me of a short, a very short one from when I was okay. like twelve or thirteen, maybe a little mm-hmm. older, uh, somewhere in the early teens. And uh, I had woken up, uh, jacked off, and then went. Oh, and, no. and I, I, I was so like, far so good. I was about to leave to my bedroom. You know, <laughs> you start off the day, you know. Uh-huh groggy like oh i don't want to leave the bedroom and when I, when I was younger i would always like look out to make sure that nobody was around before i left my bedroom like yeah okay. i didn't want to okay. be bothered until i had time to like wake up and be able to talk to people you know so okay. i was kind of like okay. listening into the downstairs to see what was going on and i could hear my grandma talking to my mom and mm. she's like well why don't you go wake him up because that's how she sounds and mm-hmm. my mom's like well, he sleeps naked, and I don't want to see him naked. And she goes, he just does that so he can touch himself. And I was like, <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. I and mean, literally, uh, I, I was just like, well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. I mean, I think that says more about your grandma than about you. I mean, that yeah. story. Yeah. It does. Uh, well, that's interesting nonetheless. It's, it's <laughs> the same about about both of us, actually, because she was right. So <laughs> There's things to be learned. There's she many lessons pegged. to be learned. Well, from I that think story. with the point, like, obviously that's true. But I think it speaks. I think I think it speaks yeah. something that she that she felt the need to point it out. Yeah, your grandma's yeah. logic doesn't make sense. She's like, well, don't mind the fact that he's naked. He does that for purposes of masturbation. Yeah. it's like how that does, means how there's more that... reason to not go to the room. <laughs> yeah. does, like, how, does yeah, really how, refute? How, That's yeah, true. yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. Guys, quick question. Quick question. Quick question. Tell your grandma question. she's wrong. Qu- sure. When you were a kid, did you ever worry about like secret cameras in your house? No. What? Well, I didn't grow up in a former Soviet Union country, yeah. so I didn't have. <laughs> well, uh, as as a matter of fact, our dad did set up a camera in the basement at well, one point, oh, no. which was God, mostly that's right, he to did. keep it. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, he did. I thought it was on he the did. outside, but no, there was one on the inside for a while. Wait, are you sure? I remember it being outside, but <sighs> okay. like he could look in with it. That's what uh, I remember. I Okay, and like I, I remember, remember him saying like knowingly when like you had some friends over like yeah you know I'll just be like I'll just be keeping an eye on, you know yeah, on the I'll outside but watch- like maybe I'll, I'll take watch- a look on the inside I'll just be and, watching you know. my su- through my surveillance camera no, yeah don't worry yeah our dad's a yeah. fucking creep. Is the, is the um, point. Oh, he's just... He didn't think of the consequences he's, or the, how we'd feel the about it. He's silly. He's a silly the, man. He's uh, a silly the man. The consequence is that I was unsettled by him, <laughs> yeah. generally. Uh, help, <laughs> yeah. help me ruminate <laughs> on this. Help me percolate on this, because this is okay. a real think- thought that I have. I think that hiding stuff from your parents is literally, like, a good, healthy thing to do. Yes, and I will help, yeah, And yeah. it will help breed individualism and make you yes. more independent as a person. A child... Like, yep. an adult does not need to know when you right. Start whacking off. Oh, you man. Know, you know, just I, like dude, what? Dude, I, I don't, I don't necessarily like agree with you, Munchie, but I think that the problem, the reason I don't agree with you is that ideally you wouldn't have to hide things from your parents because your parents would have a better understanding of you. And right. like, the only I reason I disagree, yeah. Digi, up, is because it, I think it's a fundamental question of human nature as opposed to like a good relationship with your children. I straight up don't think a child ever should pass along the information as to like whether I or think, not they yeah, jack I, off I, now. I think like, the, the, the point of it is more broadly. I will, I will know that. Yeah, but yeah, I'm just saying, why we should just know it? Okay, the reason you have to hide from your sorry. Wait, okay. The reason you have to hide. Okay, I have to say this. The reason you have to hide from your parents is that they don't. Like they refuse to be in the reality you are actually well, in. That, okay. Your parents I, I don't want to be in the reality when my son's jacking off. Like he's just going to you know? jack off. That well, happens. Yeah, no, they no, they no, all no. do it. If, you, mean, if, your son, know. if your son is like you know 13, 14, well, you, like you should just know. Like he's probably yeah. jacking off. You should know time. better, right. and you That's should not saying. try to live in a in a the like thing... a lot of parents just try to live in the universe in their own mind where you don't do the things yeah. that they it's, don't it's, want. It, you to do. A lot of the time, it's not uh, a matter I, of like like not wanting to accept it. It's just not wanting to like believe yeah. in the sense that you the don't want to pay attention to it. Wait, let Gibbs say his point. Gibbs say his point. Why would they not want needing to hide things from the parents? The reason that they should. Good, is that it's just like it makes for like a, a society that like can change if if nobody mm-hmm. wants a kid that is just obedient because yeah True. they need to they, they need to rebel in some way it's not about like the parents knowing or no because leadership can, you want to train it's about, leadership it's about the and, kids and, taking the initiative yeah. to not exactly. tell them certain right. things right. okay well look i i think that the way that we often uh, the systems in which discipline is instilled a lot of the time, like, for instance, in the military, is that you have an extreme authoritarian figure, like, grinding you mm-hmm. into the ground, and they are also, like, they have a- they, they, they have total control over you. And that can make you experience ego death in a similar kind of way where you can look, you can gain maturity by looking past yourself, you know? 
And, like, I do think there's also good reasons, good things you can learn by, like, learning to deceive people who are wrong. Which, like, the reason you should lie to your parents is that they're probably wrong. But if your parents are, like, if your parents are communicating with you and you have a yeah. good relationship, what are you going to hide from them? Like, why? Indeed. You can't just make up shit to hide from your parents just to learn that lesson. Your parents can just teach you that lesson. Look, they there will be differences. I'm going to teach I mean, my kids thing... to hide a lot of things from the school. I'm going to teach them to hide a lot of things from work. Did you, you are know, overestimating how much you are going to have in common with your kids. Oh, you are yeah. way yeah. overestimating. Nate, Nate, I am not saying so that weird. I am going to do a perfect job raising my kids and go through all... I'm just saying that I'm in saying an philosophically ideal... why your point is incorrect. Because right, no but... t- parent alive yeah. should ever know everything their children I don't, does. I can't ever. imagine any of us I, having that, children. That's not that why do you need to know? There's a huge difference between knowing everything they do and hiding things from your parents. I don't, okay, if, if we're talking if, about if, if it's someone bad goes to and hide takes a something. dump, I, and you don't tell me that you went to take a dump, you're not hiding it from me. You're just Look, not take telling it, the me. The thing everything. about the th- that's a good example because taking a shit is an embarrassing thing to do, mm-hmm. just as a human being. It just mm-hmm. is. Well, People don't society. really want to talk about if it. If you're stupid, and, but what if it's a really <laughs> impressive shit? <laughs> <laughs> That that's one of the base bio like they're like literally everyone does it, and yeah. yet we're kind of embarrassed about it. It's yeah. just. That's well, I think that's about it because it's, probably, it's, I, yeah. I think there are there are legitimate reasons to be embarrassed about shit, and those are the reasons yeah. that I am like I don't want you to smell my shit because it smells bad, you sure, know, and sure, I don't want to yeah. look at it because it looks gross. But like the fact that someone takes a shit, there are people out there, like there are women out there, for instance, who will not acknowledge the fact that they shit. Like I, I know them, you know, know or, them or, or they, or they well. won't acknowledge <laughs> that they fart, and I'm like, I don't give a fuck that you shit or fart because I do the same things. I'm, yeah. I'm not going to hold that against you, but, like, some people feel like they are expected right. to think those things are embarrassing, and so they find them embarrassing. They're right. not using sure. logic. Sure. They're using expectations. Like, so I'm mm-hmm. saying that, like, right. in my idea of a perfect society, it's uh-huh. one where we don't have to tell everyone everything that's going on because we should all have a level of understanding and trust in one another right. that we trust you to be doing something good. And, like, the right. reason that people come into contact with their parents is that those trust relationships break down because your parents do not set reasonable expectations for you they want you to be perfect instead of being human even though they made you while being imperfect and being human and they don't understand how to be man you put that in such a fucking biblical way dude yeah if you want to like truly be on the level with your kids you have to be employing as much of an open mind and critical thinking as the child themselves is growing up right so like when i think of kids i'm thinking be on your toes you know? Yeah. What is yeah. the what is the most like difficult and hard to relate to? Way imagine, my kids could... imagine if I, Ben Saint, were capable mm. of the Titanic feat of employing the level of critical thinking as a child. <laughs> it, it, right. Imagine if you had the capability of listening instead of jutting in and interrupting right. Devu in the middle of a statement. Yeah. If only. So, <laughs> so, so the thing is, yeah. Like the thing is, like I think my dad in particular just couldn't never saw coming. How little of a shit me and my siblings would care about Christianity because like my dad came from a broken fucking house broken fucking family broken fucking world so like mm. he needs like this like theological backbone but then he made the mistake of raising his children to be happy with life so it's like why <laughs> the hell do I need like a deal narrative to like back up like conscious ability to uh, wake dude, up in the I morning, used to right? I used to love like Christianity up until someone told me that people actually believe the stories <laughs> Whoa! That's, that's Damn! Pretty that's pretty funny. Damn. Oh like, my now, God. now that's post Wait, this isn't. That's we're not. We're not oh. just like. We're not just like playing. We're not just role playing. Like this <laughs> no, is real. No. What I no. liked about it is just like you know, it <laughs> sounded to me like fairy tales and like oh, it's just oh you know, it's just like stories to teach a moral. That's what I thought like about RP. of it. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, a story time. So I'm the story time. Right. I like, used to take a class that it would teach you know Christianity. I think Roman mm-hmm. Catholicism uh, specifically. Mm-hmm. I don't remember, yeah. but basically in that in that a... class, they just would tell the stories, and I get to draw. So like it was like right. the perfect class. And, oh, and once a month, and once a month we have grape juice and crackers, and you know <laughs> yeah. it's pretty good. Yeah, oh, it's no, great. Catholicism it's is like the jock Christianity branch. 
Whereas the more like um, Protestant, more like um, particular education oriented, like actually like really seriously following the Bible to the letter is definitely the nerd group of Christianity. It's like what Ted Cruz is all like, right? Uh, I'd, I'd yeah. put it more in terms of the, yeah. uh, uh, the, the what is it? The virgin Protestant versus the Chad co- yeah. Catholic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah someone make that shit. It really is. It really is. That is that's like, actually the, fucking hilarious. I hope no, so. Yeah, because like, the Catholics are all about image and looking good and being like popular, right? Yeah. Whereas the mm-hmm. the fucking Protestants if, and, and like especially Baptists, they're all about like following the rules and like being faithful correctly, right? Yeah. But, um, the, you should draw. I, someone I, should draw like the the the, the virgin like Martin Luther. You I know, versus that the Chad. You Chad, cannot you know? reverse it because someone making like the ch- okay. Imagine if someone made the Chad Protestant, it would come off as no, total. No, it no, would no, come no, off as no, totally no, unironic and like they really. Yeah. Believe that the Chad, cool. the Chad, uh, the Chad, um, God damn it, I can't. The Catholic, <laughs> Catholic uh, needs yeah. to have like eight names at least. Like he needs to have like the name of every Baptist in his like do Virgil, have, Sanctius, do you guys Augustine, have names? the Fourteenth. Yeah. Like you know the, the Christian. Do we yeah. as people? I, yeah. Like you, do we, you, you, you get we those, all do, right? Like don't you get like the middle names from being like baptized or whatever? Oh, some no. no. It, I, no. Maybe Catholics do. I mean, we were Protestants. Yeah, yeah. Shit, like, so, like Catholics I, are, or someone like chooses like like a given name. Like they choose like a biblical name. When oh, they, you know when, when they, I was when they young, get confirmed or something. When I was we, we young and getting that. confirmed, I was really mad at Catholics, uh, and I expressed this very autistically that I didn't get to choose like my own new name. Yeah. So I really wanted the name Gabriel. I thought it'd be cool. But I remember uh, asking no. my dad what. Pers- percentage of devoted catholics do you think are going to go to heaven he said 25 <laughs> percent wait, wait but, but doesn't your dad believe in, in heaven and stuff though yeah well my dad's just like yeah but like basically one time uh-huh. uh, we, me and my dad were talking about the idea of, of cult like people who take christianity and then like uh-huh. have their own stupid idea of what it means and they take it too far <laughs> and he's like oh well you know the whole catholic church is basically a cult right and mm-hmm. i said how what percentage okay. of them in spite of following Catholicism correctly, are still, like, believing in God correctly. And he's like, probably 25%. Those are the ones you're going to get to heaven. Why wouldn't it be zero? Because they're doing well, it wrong. I don't well, know. There's, there, there's a lot of looseness. Like, because you're a Protestant, you've already deviated majorly, like, from the codified original, like, Catholic yeah, but, shit. I mean, which Catholic so, like, also, it's loosey-goosey out here, man. Yeah, but, I mean, it's all Catholicism good. also deviates from Judaism, so, you know. Um, well, I mean, because um, Jesus, but yeah, I mean, I guess that's Well, I, I imagine the number for Jews is 0%. Oh, I probably, probably. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. What the fuck was I even talking about? Talking about my dad. Talking about relating to your kids. So I'm thinking, okay, I need to be prepared. Because my, my parents also, like, projected the fact that when they wanted to homeschool their kids onto the fact that, like, they would have done really good if they suddenly had to do homeschool. Because going to public school is a much bigger pain in the ass. Like, mm, the thing about mm. homeschool is, if you're fucking disciplined, you can just get all your work done immediately and, and like, the light world is your oyster. The problem is it's so easy, it's such a much more efficient way of doing it, that it's really fucking boring and hard to, like, pay attention, right? So, like, we just barely squeaked yeah. our way through it, but my parents didn't get why it would be hard for that reason. They couldn't relate. So I need to be prepared. I need to, like, basically hope that my kids are as unrelatable to me as possible. So I'm imagining them, like, not being into video <laughs> games at all or art, just being fucking chads, right? They want to do sports, right? I need to prepare for that. Also, mm-hmm, political mm-hmm. views, right? Like, like how the world is, right? Because we think, oh, old people are so stupid for not understanding, you know, uh, every color is the Minecraft. same level of human. No, like, yeah. fucking racism is <laughs> bad, right? But, you know, in, in a generation or two, who knows where it could evolve into a degree that we now are fuddy-duddy. So I'm just basically going to assume that being a fucking anti-SJW racist is going to be popular in, like, 2020 or, like, 2030 or so. I mean, it's, so, already, right? it's already getting It'll pretty be like hot. The thing. It's already getting pretty hot. You It'll know be the saying? thing, right? And then also, like, respecting... Things are heating up. Having a, <laughs> yeah. having on the racism a, front. Yeah, having yeah. a respectable Get conversation on the ground floor, boys. will be seen as wrong, right? There'll be all these, like, woke like fucking parables about how having uh listening to the other side is wrong trying to be respectful to someone over a disagreement is like all like it's lies right I oh my god for my that, kids that, that, that's to have a little an ideology bit that i think is just completely wrong so that i could be prepared and act cool about it be like uh-huh that's your belief Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> you don't oh, really? really? Do you believe that? You don't. Wow. You don't. I that sounds just like any that. parent. Yeah, well, you can't just be like, oh, what? If you if you act all like befuddled I, about I, it, I've never heard old. of a person who actually uh-huh. blows up and says, "What? You're doing something new? Get out of here!" Like I've oh, never heard of a person who has well, a parent. Parents don't sound like, like that, that, but there are. Oh, I know. I know. I know kids. I know. I have friends who have parents who are just like. <gasps> Like, um, I mean, it's like if you're if you're a parent and like for whatever reason, if your worldview comes majorly in conflict with like what your child 
chooses to do with their life. Like, it'd have to be in a serious right. major way. That's really the only way I could no, see no, no. them, Listen, like, you I'll know. just give you some, some perspective. I have a friend whose mom, uh, this is when no. Pokemon Go was first coming out, like, oh. probably Woo! one of the, probably one of the only <laughs> old people in existence who was still riding the Pokemon as Demonic line, even when Pokemon Go made it popular. Right. Whoa, right? that's retro. I know, that's right? Throwback. She, she found a fake article in which there was a fake interview with the guy who created Pokemon who, in this fake interview, says that he made Pokemon specifically to convert Western children to Satanism. And she, thought it, <laughs> and she thought it was real and uh, sent it to my friend, her daughter, saying, this is we, why you we, shouldn't play Pokemon. We she thought it was real, no, right? We Does her no, dad work at Nintendo? Is that how she knew? Okay, we interviewed right. noted uh, Japanese entrepreneur Ken Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. We asked and, and him so, why. Like, and so why my friend did he do her, this My friend to told us. her, like, dude, that's a fake article. And she's like, it might be, but, like, you know what it's saying is ultimately Wait, d- d- true. Dare we take that chance? <laughs> dare we take that no. chance? Wait, Davu, no. it's enlightening that her answer, the, her answer, does not hinge at all on whether it is fake. Right? Or yeah. No. So I'm not just letting you know, she's the kind of parent who will be like that. She will. She will actually like do a gasp. Like my friend said, it was really hard to drop. Drop her monocle. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah, if she had a monocle. Like, my I friend, mean, what's the what's the rule cl- we establish? When one person says pearls. one yeah, thing pearls, and another yeah, person that, says the same thing, it her must fucking, be true. Gets her fucking jimmies rustled all the time. Like, my friend said it was, yeah. it was really hard for her to learn how to drive because, like, she was taught by her mom. And her mom, if anything slightly possibly might be dangerous happening in the car, she'll do a full-on gasp and freak my, my friend the fuck out. Be like, <gasps> Like that, so well, yeah. There are definitely yeah. parents who will go. This well, is like ridiculous. what? Like that's someone like juggling awful. knives in the car or something? You know, that's that's like slightly I mean, I would, dangerous. I would gasp if I was in danger of automobile peril. Like no, like more like it's time for you to slow down at the stop sign, and oh. you or you are in no way oh. to, you are not you're not taking too long to slow down, but I'm worried you might not, so I'm gonna gasp that kind of thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. I kind of know what that's like because I'm teaching Michelle to drive these days. Pretty yeah. terrifying. <laughs> yeah. When you're not in control. It, it, indeed. Hey, what was you guys uh, in school we, like? Were you guys, were you guys, oh, were you guys happy in school? Was Insert the entire school podcast here, please, <laughs> I was, sir. I, I, is, I was is there literally happy anyone in on was earth fine. that was unironically happy in school? When I was a I kid, think, I loved yeah, school. Yeah. When I was a teenager, I hated school. So, mm, mm. I mean, I like it could have been a lot good at playtime. school. Were you happy at school? I was happy. If you at look school. at me now, if you look at me now, you would probably think. That I was bullied and whatever. We didn't really have like bullies in my. No, school. we didn't. We did we didn't, not. Like yeah, that didn't really yeah. go on. Nobody got like beat up or anything. Uh, I I felt I felt. Uh, what's Everyone the word? was way too high to worry about I, that. <laughs> <laughs> I felt ostracized and I felt like a nerd and a social pariah. But looking back, like I had a click or two that I was pretty tight with. Right. And, like yeah. I would I would make jokes in class and people would laugh and stuff. And like right, I, I think remember, I was I think I was actually pretty okay. I remember a cracked article, and every any time I said a cracked article, I always want to say it because I don't really trust cracked that much. But they said that like um. There was an article that mentioned that, like, the kids who shot up Columbine, uh, they were not bullied. They just have a huge fucking victim complex. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean... When... I mean, same that goes for uh, Elliot Roger. Like, he never... Yeah, He never actually got turned down by any women. He just... He just did never he did got that. offered outright. No, but they never he, he offered did. those bullies. He he got turned down like at least once. There's well, a, okay, there's but that's not one. enough. Like yeah. the, the, the fault lies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most most of it was just him like from afar looking at women and being like, they would never accept me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wait, yeah. what what was Gibbs saying though? He was chiming in. Uh. I f- yeah. Do you love Elliot Roger as much no. as we? No, <laughs> no it, it, the, the, the conversation changed and I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> the topic is so childhood. The, so I, I'll just my my whole experience of school was the first of day of school. I got on the bus and I distinctly remember that like I cried because my I had to let go of my mom. I had never been like Aww. with outside of like eyesight of my mom basically at mm-hmm. this point. That's- so um, and I get on the bus and I go like right to the back and I'm looking at her through the back window and she's waving and I'm crying and it was misery for 12 years. I, 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 my mom. Well, I want to quickly say it's, it's just, weird. Yeah. Like, did you like this? The, hmm. the first time he, you know, he wasn't with an eyeshot of his mom. Like, remember the, the, my wild days when I was a kid, like at around five years or so, like my, my, my parents would just let me go into the neighborhood and I was not supervised five years old yeah and well mage it's different when you're raised by wolves it's a different <laughs> right. sort of dynamic yeah, you know, there. yeah it's interesting like 
It's just people say that like right now it's dangerous and probably no one would let their kids go off. On it's actually it safer than it's know, ever been statistically. For, for it's what just, it's worth, yeah. it had nothing to do with it being dangerous or my parents not allowing me. I had no interest in being outside the eyesight of my mom. So <laughs> mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. yeah, and I'm just yeah. saying in general, I, like nowadays, like no, no, yeah, no yeah. self respect Things have changed. Yes. The perception, the the, yeah. the what do they call hover parents or whatever, right. the hovercraft, whatever. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I was, re- I was. All parents are. Beta Beta orbiters of their children. <laughs> beta that's orbiters. That's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem. They're all beta all orbiters. All parents have been totally friend zoned. Okay, so let's, let's, let's totally fucking talk about this now. Let's talk about the death of, of going outside. No, no. Yards. Let's not. Let's not talk about that right now because I was walking around my old childhood mm-hmm. ruins for devious reasons that I will not disclose. Okay. But I was walking around like like old schoolyards and stuff like that, and I've noticed that I still have the feeling to this day, like years after I've moved out of like my elementary, and middle school, and stuff, where when I'm in the car and like we turn in to go to school and we turn in the same turn that I've been like I, I went to when I was in school I mm-hmm. still get that it pit of anxiety and like yeah, oh god it's, yeah. it's really happening like I'm going to school today like it's it, like like <laughs> I'm, I'm ready I'm ready to go into homeroom oh god like like years like even I, I was going to my kindergarten elementary school and I turned into the complex and I felt a pit of despair grow in my stomach and, yeah. I, and, and I felt that like I was going to go reaction, to school that day friend. Yeah. yeah, you know it's interesting. That's a nightmare. Like, you know, so having not have gone to school, school there's mm. an interesting perception I get I from some. people. Right, whenever whenever a new school, a new fresh shooting happens, right, and we count up the the bodies, one, two, twelve bodies, and so then you know the the people have their opinions. Mm. And what's funny is that there's something that like both sides always agree on, but they never like talk about this part. So basically. One side always goes, so, okay, you know how we keep, uh, some, a bunch of kids keep getting shot up, and some kids decide to, like, grab guns and shoot kids in these giant prisons that we lock them up in for nine hours a day that they're all miserable and depressed in? I think it's probably because of the video games they relax with when they come home. That's what caused it, right? And then other people are like, hey, you know those giant buildings where, like, kids are locked up for nine hours a day and feel miserable and depressed and anxious, like, their entire youths? I think it's actually the fact that they have a weapon to shoot kids with in the first place, but you should get rid of the weapon. And I'm like, hold on, why are we addressing the fact that we're locking everyone up in these nine-hour prisons for their entire youths that they're all terrified and depressed yes. in? Like, why, why not address <laughs> yes. that part of the issue? Excuse me. I mean, I yeah. I mean, you collect all the all the delicate, exploding hundred point bonus, you know, bullet sponges in one place. Point. That I'm gonna want to get I mean, the high we're, score. We're not saying that you all deserve to lose your kids for help making us participate in this system. Just that maybe I don't <laughs> yeah. feel as bad. My what? favorite is the hot diggity demon tweet, which was, um, "New school gets shot up. People." Ban guns. Me ban schools. I, I think yeah. I retweeted that. That was a great. When, one. when I went to college this, this in the is, UK, off topic, but, but I, I just want to quickly say, Munchie, let Mage finish. She's been chiming in. <laughs> uh, die. When I went, die, when I went, die. Yeah, when I went to college in the UK, we had like. Mm-hmm. Um, First of all, we had like lanyards, so we wouldn't be able to access the uh, the buildings unless we were allowed to. Yeah, yeah. And we also had metal detectors, so we couldn't bring anything metal in them. And UK doesn't even have guns, so I think that's an interesting practice that may should be considered, maybe. Uh, it, it's an interesting thing. Uh, I completely agree that schools need to be banned. Uh, get rid of them now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had a point and I forgot it, so continue and I'll think about it. All right, until I, I have the thing about school. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't remember being on the school podcast. I remember, I, I think, I, I, I missed it and I wanted to be on it. Okay. Uh, I don't want to go on to like, a huge spiel, but uh, my basic thoughts on school is that I used to hate it, obviously, because that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Um, but like, <laughs> after checking my privilege, after going through <laughs> yeah. and, and remembering that I'm, I'm actually like, I'm a white boy and it was a pretty good school and it was pretty yeah. good and there were lots of nice people there. I didn't actually have a terrible time. I had a lot of like good, like, like, um, like the art department at my school was quite nice and the teachers mm-hmm. were chill. And they would let me stay behind, like uh, after school, to just work on cool. The shit teachers in, were in chill. The, the school was lit. The cafeteria was on the uh, like, like the it had an average amount of cool places the, to chill at. Lots yeah. of the obvious things about school were like, uh, uh-huh. yeah, the some people. It's it's social structures are shit. Uh, a lot of yeah, teenagers yeah. are terrible, and sh- cliques are gay. Um, and I was shy, so like says obviously... member of the PCP hypocrite. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> got him. So, but you like, it's, worth being it, it was a good, it was a good time 
if it wasn't the greatest, but like I I, I appreciate school. Like when it's done right, it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, school gave me the chance to rise the highest I have in my life and fall to my lowest point, and that is the story that I was telling before. And and allow me to share oh, yeah. it briefly now. True. It was, it was just, um, so when I was, I think I was, um, everyone knows that I was a god as a young child. I, I was the ultimate dodgeball champion. I was, I could do 50 <laughs> pull-ups in high school. I, uh, Damn. I just, I, I, I had hair down to my waist. I was just a god, just in every possible way. Um, mm. I wore those, uh, fucking, uh, Kingdom Hearts wristbands every day. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> that's how you know. That's how, that's you, how you know. know. That's how you know. <laughs> I wore weighted leg braces because I wanted to fucking be Goku. Okay, but anyway, the point is, um, I actually developed a bit of a fan club in uh, in high school. There was like three girls who would call themselves this, uh, and I, I occasionally get creepy Facebook messages from them uh, up until last year. Um, really? Yeah, it's true. I just che- happened to check. Uh, I got back wow. into Facebook, and I yeah, yeah. Last year I got another one. But anyway, How did the point you not, is, like, like fuck them. Because I like Don't put one your time. Dick okay, in crazy. one time. Well, I mean, there's that one time. A friend of mine walked up to me uh, and said, "Hey, Nate, that's my friend Jessica. She wants to date you." I looked up, I saw her, and I said, "That's nice," and went back to reading like One Piece or Naruto or something. <laughs> that's nice. Uh, that's that, that's why. why it didn't. But what, why I, did you say that's nice? Why was that I mean, your response? I'm, I'm sure I was like nervous or like you know. Did just, you not like, like her, I, I didn't or were you just not interested in the entire endeavor? At this point in my life, I just had like no interest in girls, really. I mean, I did have a crush on a girl, but I, I yeah. don't know. It was like it was more like platonic, I guess. Like I wasn't I thinking it. about fucking or anything. I, yeah. I don't oh, know. Jesus, how I get it. I didn't want to fuck anyone. Back. I didn't want to fuck anyone in high back. school either. I was, well, I, was I did a little too, bit, but I was, like, but, I was, but I would have been nervous about. It. Like when I was young, I was like legit scared of alcohol, and I think I was the same way, kind of scared of sex, because like I didn't understand it. it was like a foreign world. I, thought, I was like, ah, what's I this thought, mean? I thought that sex was like bad and something that only like the bad kids did, because we were, like, yeah. weren't supposed to. And I was like, I'm better than them because I'm not. Doing and that I mean, bad I, I I was a kissless virgin up until yeah. like my fucking twenties, so you know uh, that was rough. Nerd. Um. Anyway, anyway, so the, the the story goes that I believe it was sophomore year, and the talent show was coming up, and I thought I'm gonna fucking ace this, like I ace everything. Um. And <laughs> maybe, maybe this, uh, whatever. I, I like in and just to paint the picture, I took all AP classes I could take. Even when I wasn't good enough to handle, like I never got lower than like I don't know, like a C or you know, the B's and C's. When I was a student, but I took all AP classes because I would not. It would hurt me too deeply in my pride to not take the hardest possible classes that were available. Even though the valedictorian herself like just did not do that because right, there was right. no we, point. We, we, the oh, the point is, I'm, just, I'm characterizing myself as an asshole egomaniac. Okay, but the point is, uh, there's a well, talent show. Well, don't. The the, the 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 talent show comes up. And I've decided I'm going to choreograph my own dance and thing, and I'm going to dance to Another One Bites the Dust and sing with Freddie Mercury. And so I do that. I choreograph it, and I get up there, and I sing and dance. Uh, and I, I, they, they count down the who are the winners, and I just think to myself, oh, of course I'm going to win this. Uh, but then I don't, and it was humiliating, and I didn't make any sense to me, and it was the worst time of my life. Uh, that was that's it. it. That's just, it. I that's thought it, it was going to be like everyone booed you, or like you made a fool of yourself. You no, just didn't everyone, win. And, you know, everyone, well, you don't understand. I don't care what other people think of me. It's only what I quick. think other people think of me that <laughs> quick, matters to quick. me. Wait, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway. That story was 80% build up, and and, and like two percent, like oh, here's as, the as story. all my stories are. He yeah, he <laughs> told, have I told the, the story path to nothing? You have yeah, I told okay. the story about? Have yeah. I told the story about thinking that I got the role that I wanted to in the school play, but then it was actually his wife? That's right. You have. I think. Yeah, I have that's right. All right. I won't. I won't repeat oh. it then. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I could go back to talking, like at the very. Oh wait, beginning, Mage hasn't heard sure it. Okay, let me say but it real quick. But the audience Jesus has. Christ. Let me the say it real has. quick, real quick. I, I, okay. you can tell okay. No, I, 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 I audition for a play, okay. and I Even want... Mage doesn't want no, no, to hear I it. Do, Fine, I do, no, 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 I do want to hear it. I just don't want to take up everyone's time. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. You're not my friend anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Every single audience member was probably like, oh, you forgot about this to say. Like, you, like there are like a thousand yeah. like loose threads in this podcast. The where reason we say I rushed through that one, because I thought I had told it before. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Uh, I want to go back to one of the very first questions was, 
Yeah. Uh, did you want to know how I became the mature, and by mature, I mean in insane uh, person you see yeah. before you. Uh, this is where I reveal the fact that I am actually uh, the main girl from Karikano, but instead of being beautiful and elegant, mm. I'm actually inconceivable and a maniac. Uh, instead of, uh, yeah, uh, uh, so, uh, right. when I was like a little yeah. kid... All I cared about was having, like, the approval of, like, adults. I didn't care about, like, the other kids that liked me. I didn't care about any of that. All I wanted, like, was, like, the praise of being, like, oh, wow, like, like, Anthony, like, thank, like, thank you for helping me take out the trash. You're Whoa, so shit. responsible. Weird. You're so yeah. nice. You're, like, like, thank yeah. you. You're such a mature kid. And I'm, like, fuck, man. Yeah. It's been a couple yeah, of years. Yeah. All the time I've known you, you've never doxed your name to me. Now I can't be undone. I can't. Yeah, I, I've said this did before you not, on podcast. Did you yeah, not know his name? No. Whoa. Whoa. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> well, I, I guess we know what, what level of friendship we're at, Davu. Yeah. <laughs> Zero. Uh, it, it, anyway, I, 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 I was so hopped up on compliments. I was straight up sniffing those, that praise day in, day out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so I wanted to, like, modify my, my behavior so I could maximize the compliments that I got. So, <laughs> so I talked about this a little bit on the sitcoms episode, but it, but it goes farther than this. Uh, I, I basically, like, there was an age at, like, 10 or something. I was like, all right. Cartoons are kid shit. Like, I can't do cartoons anymore. It's all about sitcoms and, like, daytime television. That's where all the mature adults are doing. That's what, that's what, that's the new shit <laughs> I gotta get Christ. hopped up on. <laughs> so I'm I was glad. watching, I was I watching feel like Golden this is Girls. Good because you went through this so young that you got to, like, figure out that adults were dumb before you even were one, you know? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, how do you so, get so, out of that arc? That's what I want to know. Uh, ba well, if a funny thing, uh, I found this little thing called, uh, the Horseshoe Crew that were just, like, mm. to, like talking, like, in, like, My Little Pony and shit, so yeah. I, I was in that, uh, like, whole scene, and eventually I was realizing, you know what, I quite like cartoons, I quite like when things are, like, drawn, and, uh, it's, it, that sort of, like, metamorphosized into me being okay with the fact that I am a child, and now it's, like, completely, like, reversed, where, like, a long time of my life, where, like, I was, like, from, like, eight until, like... I don't know, like, 12 or 13, where I was really dedicated to trying to become, like, not necessarily a mature person in the sense that, like, I'm, like, you know, like, like a serious alt expert, but in the sense that, like, I'm, uh, you know, I'm the cream of the crop of kids. Like, wow, you can mm. talk to me and have a real that why, conversation. Is that part of why you were so into Homestuck? Because it was, like, all cartoony and kitty, but also, like, really cerebral and literary? Uh, a little bit, yeah. You but anyway, should... it went full circle to the point where now I'm, like, full, like, kid power. And I, and I reject <laughs> all, all, all sense of the adult world. I just want to go back. Not, like, I just want to go back to, like, being, like, nice and, and, like, and like looking with optimism to the world and not being nihilist and not being, like, oh, like, 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 life shit now, question mark. I don't want to be reflecting on, like, oh, how good things used to be. I want to have yeah. things be good now. That, that was, I don't want to yeah. be thinking about how, like, oh, YouTube's so bad. Oh, I'm just here to make a quick buck. Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> like, like, online creation is such a fucking drag. Oh, they're all fucking hacks and artists. not a single good yeah. YouTuber. Wow, wow, look at me. Aren't I cool for not liking things? Oh, wow, I'm so fucking... I'm so mature. I, oh, I, I I realize that I'm just surrounded by filth day in and day out. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm such a fucking adult. I'm such an adult. Everyone, praise me. Praise me. I hate things. Praise me. No, yeah. I'm not about that shit. I'm here. I'm a kid. I'm full of energy and passion. I'm here. I'm here with the youthful eyes of a baby be boy, and I'm here to make my mark on the fucking world. I'm not gonna have any fucking naysayers or Debbie Downers make fun of the internet. The internet is my playground. The internet is real. YouTubers are great. Yeah. Everything is fucking great. All you adults are fucking lame. You're all lame and you don't get anymore. You don't fucking get it. We've grown past you. We have evolved past you. We have digivolved. You have mega evolved. And you are fucking old shit. You are old hat. You don't get it anymore. Leave. Literally leave. Yeah. Dude, yeah, like, um, yeah, talking about being uh, <laughs> rebellious against what people want you to be when you're older. Oh, you'll get over this, you'll get over that. The number one thing that I wanted to be rebellious against was thinking that my childhood was better, right? Like, there was a time when I was, like, 17, and an older person said, oh, yeah, I remember when I was your age. That was the best years of my life. And I'm thinking... Gross. One, I'm, I was just thinking, one, I've just been sitting around doing nothing with my life, being completely miserable. Two... Wait, wait how old were you? How old were you? 17 or 16. Jesus fucking Christ. Two, uh, this guy in, like, his late 50s is fucking handing me the free sample at a grocery store. Obviously, <laughs> this guy... Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. When, 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 sev when you peak at 17, when you're the kind of person who peaked at 17 right. and it never got any better past that, right. that's not that's a good sign. What do you think? What do you think? He was handing me the fucking free sample at Price Chopper. So, 
I was thinking, yeah, it's like clearly people who just were not fit for this earth. Like they should have died. They should have died young. That would have been the only way, right? And that's what, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah that's the only that's the two way. And wanna, they missed. They missed their chance. That's the two things I still want to talk about. Is like life getting better or worse when you become old, and also the death of going outside, which I guess doesn't actually need that much elaboration. But those are the two subtopics I'm still particularly interested in. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd just like to say. I'm deeply sorry about how much I fucked up my story because I told it like shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I told, yeah, I good. thought I had not, I thought I had told it on an episode, so I rushed to the ending. I just want everyone to know it was really good when I told it in private. I, I, uh, I, 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 I did actually vouch that. for you, Nate, because you said the yeah, other day right? in the call, and you did say it, and it was like a really like fun story. That like, wow, Nate, yeah, you know, really I'm glad good. that you're my friend. Like, I'm really glad that I <laughs> but know But not you. anymore. Yeah, but yeah, not yeah. anymore. Now you've really blown it. Now that I see that you, how you handle it, story under pressure, I'm, yeah, I'm but, not confident in Actual quality. Now I'm taking it all. Told it on the Fred episode Mercury, before, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Look, I just there was a little hype as to the 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 reveal of that I had lost. That that was what made it good. The only way to I pull it off would have been if you had actually then performed the same thing. You you played the song, you sang it. We had to sit there and be like, "Yep, you definitely lost." Oh, if I show. did it on the episode, yeah, that that yeah. we should do that. I mean, it was a <laughs> dance it, thing. Munchie, we, we would just hear foot shuffling. <laughs> yeah, I did oh, moonwalk. Munchie, did moonwalk, you haven't seen Fully Cooly yet, have you? No. All right, I would like to request you watch that, and we could maybe do like a whole fucking because everybody <gasps> else has seen it. We could do a whole thing. It's good on for it. Dude, me because that's true. The, me the, on Chibi Bakas, Fully Cooly. Yeah, the arc of the, the game, main yeah. character of Fully Cooly is that he basically like is trying to grow up too fast. Like he wants to be an adult, and he wants to. He sees the adults around him as like failing because they're all like kind of immature and. He's like, oh, you're supposed to act like this. Like, this is what it means to be an adult. And then it's kind of about him realizing that you don't need to do that and that adults... Generally, being an adult does not mean you're, like, a radically different person. It just means that you have, like, a lot more responsibilities, basically. He tries yeah. to be cool, but instead he's a fool. Yeah. That's, that's, you know, that's right. pretty much exactly, Hence the title. Hence much the exactly title. my life. Where I was super, like, I was super inspired by all the, like, adults around me. And not, like, not in the sense that, like, I really, like, liked what they were doing, but just in the sense that they were authority figures. And so, mm-hmm. by default, yeah. I looked oh, up I had them, no... And I felt that that's what they were doing. Oh, I didn't was look up the to correct anybody. thing to do. Like, I didn't have any role models. Like... Like, my dad is a very good, mature person, and he's, like, cool in his own way, but, like, he's not the kind of cool that I look up to in a way, if you know what I mean. Sure. So, like, mm-hmm. I remember specifically as a child thinking, I, I remember specifically out loud thinking this, like, thinking it out loud, like, not subconsciously, like, this was something that actually went through my head, sitting there thinking, I have, I look up to no one, there's no one who I respect, until I found the internet. <laughs> then only on the internet did I start finding things that I respect, and then learning things about people who aren't on like the a internet. reverse I never, MC I never sort of looked up to any adult either. Like, uh, people, um, my friends had idols and stuff. Like, Britney Spears was super popular back then. I remember specifically thinking to myself, like, why would I want to be like someone else when I can just be me? You know? It just that you yeah. never made I, sense I, I... to me to try and be like someone else. That seemed like hard, and what's she the point? She literally says, if there's nothing missing in my life, then why I these only, tears come I, I only I admired like fictional characters. I, 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 mm, yeah. I want, to, I want yeah. to express deeply that this is this is a very shameful praise. This is a very shameful in, inspiration. Because I don't, mm. like, actually, like, feel like I want to follow the footsteps or, like, believe in the qualities of the adults around me. Like, I, like, like, none of the adults around me, I'm really, like, you know what, like, I want to take up that mantle. I want to do what you're doing. I'm not, like, inspired in the same way that I'm inspired, like, people online. I, it's just because they were, like, the adults around me, and because they're adults, they know what they're doing Munchy. by default. That's what is right. instilled in me. I'm, yeah. I'm really curious about this, because you are a big lad. And I'm wa- and I'm wondering like how being like maybe as tall as the adults yeah, around definitely. you affected the way you look up to them metaphorically. I, I, I think because it really I did. I yeah. have as a small boy, like knowing that people like obviously you're a kid, people who are bigger than you are in charge, mm-hmm. and that's how you understand mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. And but like I've I've noticed like a couple times, even though there's like a kid who's like clearly he's like a young teenager, but he's taller than me. Mm-hmm. I feel like. This yeah. inherent, like, oh, he's really? in charge. Yeah. Not that I actually act on that in any way, but I'm like, it's like a, for a brief moment, I'm like, oh. I, yeah, oh, I mean, oh, definitely. Oh, wait, no, he's a kid. He's a kid. I'm, I'm cooler than him. I, yeah, people I, I, like, I, I don't know if I really yet. get that. I, I kind of feel like like once you are tall, like the, that power dynamic of tall versus small kind of disappears. Because I really, like, even when I'm talking to someone who's significantly shorter than me, I don't, like, 
think about it or like even realize it most of the time. Like I, I like that's barely that's your tall, think that's your about, tall privilege. I that's your tall privilege about talking at all. Yeah. Yeah. That's tall privilege. You have the privilege of, oh, no. of not noticing. No. Whereas no, us, no, us no, manlets, no, no, no. us manlets being, have to notice. It's forced upon being, us. Being being yeah. tall is not what it's all cracked up to be. What I hated about being taller than everyone else. It's just practical, and I like. I, it. I well, I like. I mean, there's some good points, but what I really hated when I was a kid, I was usually the tallest kid in any friend group or even mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. even among like boys and stuff. Uh, so whenever right. we hung out and whenever people got in trouble, I usually got the brunt of the blame because people assumed I'm the oldest and the most responsible because I was the tallest, even though that wasn't <laughs> the case. I we went, yeah. I was once hanging out with like. Uh, two other boys, and uh, they were throwing rocks at a Fucking sign. Fucking manlets. <laughs> and they were throwing rocks yeah. at a sign, and this old mm-hmm. dude, he he went up to us, like, he sneaked up on us, and he cu- uh, grabbed my arm, and, like, the the, 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 the two guys scattered. That's grounds for assault. <laughs> and, the, and, the, and, the, and the two boys just completely, you know, ran, ran, ran for their lives, and I got a big lecture. I was like, <laughs> oh, you're the oldest. You you should be more responsible and set example nice. and stuff like that. Yeah. And I was the youngest of the group, and I was yeah, so Yeah, what Hippo pissed. said is that, like... He, he still is cognizant of this sort of, like, bestial fucking primal power dynamic just from height and his physical stature, but, like, you can be aware of it and then, like, not let it affect you, at least not too much. But especially over the course of your development, it can put you into a feedback loop. And I... I Based on how people treat me and talk to me, I think most people think I'm usually three to five years younger than I am. And it was only in the last couple of years I've started, like, getting people treating me like I'm definitely an adult. Like... After I spent, like, a solid year driving and having a full-time job and, like, being, you know, completely independent, only then did I seem to have enough swagger to where, like, people think, okay, this is, like, an actual fucking person, like, at a store, not like they're with their parents, you know what I mean? But people... Catch Devu swaggering the fuck out of the grocery store. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Excellent. Like, did you <laughs> even up until, like, my, like, early 20s, even when I was, like, 21, people would still talk to me like I was in high school or even say, like, oh... Or like, like, think I was in high school, right? And when people treat you like that, it affects your self-image. So Munchie, Definitely. meanwhile, who's passed for an adult for a long fucking time, yes. it creates this fucking feedback loop. And I think it's a exactly. good one if people think you're an adult, unless you're just nothing but slapped with blame Dude, for throwing rocks at shit. Munchie's oh. a trans. He's a trans adult. He passes. He, yeah. He, 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 right. here's, the, here's the best thing in life. And here's, like, the thing that, like, I'm going to be turning 18 soon. And this is going to that's gonna be, like, the death of my actual life. Like, everything after that will be nothing. <laughs> Because I yeah. define my life as the following. As long as I can walk up to a cashier or, you know, whatever, or my mom, specifically my mom can introduce me to someone and she can say, how old do you think he is? And she can gesture towards me and they can be like, <laughs> um, 22. Some guy said like 28. Like everyone has like a big <laughs> old, like, 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 like the, the, the gap between my actual age and uh, my like what people think my age is. As long as that is at least ten years plus, I'm in the prime of my life. As long as people <laughs> think that uh, that I'm older than I actually am, that's when I know that I'm lame. Whenever I can walk up to a fucking cashier, or just the other fucking day when I was getting my passport done, uh, uh, the, the, some, uh, some the receptionist, people, just... the receptionist was like, "Oh, what are you like twenty two? I'm like, <laughs> some some Fool. people get upset. Some people get upset because they get older and people stop carding them. At liquor stores, yeah, yeah. Munchie never got carded. <laughs> I want to. No, no, it's dude, more of a thing I'll, with women. I'll get offered alcohol all the time. I don't have that fucking moment. I praise this. I live for this. I wake up specifically for <laughs> this. They'll come by and like, like, oh, would you like a drink? And I'm like, ha, ha, ha. I want to. No, I wanna... <laughs> I'm underage. I'm <laughs> not allowed <laughs> to drink <laughs> alcohol. The sadistic glee that we yeah. says that. <laughs> no, no I'm not old enough. For this. He's been yeah. waiting to say this. I was surprised, Munchie, that you're still against sex. So that'd be the ultimate the ultimate prank like after she gets up it's like I have to let you know something oh no you just oh, become no. a criminal <laughs> I'm underage that's terrible that's a great I wanted to no, I wanted no, to I'm, quickly I'm, I'm, say that's a great party um, trick when, when your story reminded me like a, a little bit what my parents like to do like whenever they have a uh, Used to whenever they used to have like friends over, uh, the ones they haven't seen in years. Uh, so I have a sister, older sister, by the way. So like, um, so when when these uh, f- friends would be uh, had been over, I used to be like a little baby mm. and stuff like that. So like, uh, my parents would go like this, like, let me introduce you to my littlest one, and I was tall, t- t- the tallest person yeah. in the room. <laughs> 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 it was pretty fun. Nice. <laughs> 
It's fucking beautiful. Hey, but right. by the way, I, I, I feel, yeah. uh, before we wrap up here, I feel like that's what's going to yeah, happen. Uh, yeah, I just yeah. want to, like, clarify my, 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 my transition here my, so you can understand my, my, mm-hmm. my growing pains. Uh, when, you, when I say that I was trying to be mature as, like, a kid, you may think, but Munchie, you're so fucking inconceivable. You're, you're just unfathomable the way that you are in the yeah. sense that you're fucking autistic and retarded and I hate you. Like, all you do is scream. And right. thank you, viewer. Like, 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 good job. And, like, thumbs up. And thank you. But what I mean is, I don't mean, like, particularly, like, I was trying to be, like, really, like, serious in the sense that, like, real world, like, adults would recognize me as an adult. I, I would, like, play, you know, I would I'd play along and I wouldn't be, like, a weird autistic person in real life. But I just mean that I wanted to have the praise of adults in any scenario. So when I was around people online, I would, you know, I would, I would act mature in the sense that I would make funny jokes. That's really what it translates to, was I would make funny jokes and it would be, as Steve puts it, on point. <laughs> so so I so I wouldn't I wouldn't Excellent. be fucking like I wouldn't be like a fucking spurg lord, but I would be autistic is what I'm trying to say. And he is to this you very it? day. Do, do, do you guys get it? Am I explaining myself well? I'm yeah. not I'm yeah. not I'm not being a, a, a weird like uh like faggot who only like like dresses in suits. <laughs> I'm just being I'm just being the, the kind of guy that people would unironically praise for being cool. That's what I was that's what I was like chasing all throughout my life. And I felt the way to do that was to try and be like like mature in, in the context of whatever scenario that I was in. Be it like an actual like real adult or a funny person online. I can only imagine Munchie in that hamburger one. See, that's 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 all he owns. <laughs> <laughs> just like whatever yeah. much that, that was like, that was still me trying to be. Whatever cool. Munchie says, like trying, I go I'm to the store, I just imagine Munchie with that Africa onesie in a store. <laughs> yes, I, I am. I, an adult. I wear that out of the house, not an, an, an inconceivable amount of time. Like I wear that like pretty regularly outside the house, like like downtown. <laughs> Incidentally, it's a it's a pizza onesie with the yes. burger like jacket thing or something. But, but, by the way, I'm so upset with you, Digi. Like I'm so distraught every what time I, I, I remember that. Like like okay, here's what my intention was. I don't think I ever communicated with you, but I want this to be the case. <laughs> when I left, uh, like uh, like on accident, the burger uh, burger was started there, and I gave it to you. Like uh-huh. because I didn't want you to ship it. I wanted to be that to be like little Cal from Homestuck. Where, like I passed it to you, then you used it, and then like you threw it away. But you just so happened that you threw it away into a trash can that was del- that was going directly to a landfill in Chicago and then Nate while surfing on, on the web aka the trash can to find yeah. some sick pumps he would find it and it would just mm-hmm. like transfer from PCP member to PCP member uh, appear in the background of videos for, until the end of time and have its own but, narrative arc until it finally returned to me at the end of like a conclusion of an arc but but tragically the only thing that gets transferred around here is, is Mewtwo <laughs> wait oh. so who does have the burger thing right now you I thought I gave it back to you or something. No, you it's haven't. gone. It's lost. It's, it's. Oh God damn it! Yep. It's Great job, that's everybody. iconic. Munchie, it's you not... should never have trusted Digi to hold on to if that. It's... This was your mistake. I mean, yeah, it's okay, possible true, that it's at, in my house somewhere. I don't fucking. Please, know. you you had it when you were going around the country. Oh God, I could have get sworn that lynched. in that period I had returned it to you. No, like at anime. You did Expo not visit me. Yeah, I did at yeah. Anime Expo. I had oh, no, you did not give it to me. Oh, well, I'll have to either find it or find out who has it then. Where, where, where it? You have maybe, to Maybe it. it's currently going on its own, like, little cow arc. It's very it's been, like, Let's hope so. To, Let's like, hope so. Like a, like if it somehow PCP. found its way into the the giant Goodwill throw away all the clothes uh, <laughs> thing oh, that no. happened, like, a year ago, then that would be where it is. But uh, okay, I don't great. think that happened. I'm uh, really happy about that. Well, hey, it's uh, this questions. is life. <laughs> Anyway, let's move on. Okay, guys, we're done with this. Childhood is gay. We've settled that. Moving on. It's time to begin our... But before we we actually get to the thing, there's an announcement about a big change happening with PCP. Oh, right, right, right. Right now. And and it's relevant to this coming up section. Here's the deal, everybody. We are flipping our recording and releasing episode dates. From now on, we're releasing PCP episodes on Friday. Wait, At the same time. Yep, listen. And we are recording on Sunday. It's because, Ben, we want to do a thing where we can respond to the latest episode that just came out and actually be talking about what people are still talking about and flipping that one little thing will allow us to do that so that we can be on top of our shit responding to the new episode that came out and we can be fucking timely with this stuff that's the reason that's that this is a small change for us and it's just makes we're releasing on friday really all you need to give a shit about and, and so now we'll be like, doing the ask yeah, questions guys, on sunday this change is great everyone will love it and ben's being carried away by security no what is this <laughs> 
It doesn't really matter at all. It's just, you know, people expect them on Friday. Possibly including this one? I don't know. I'd be, I'd be Speaking maybe. of shit from last episode, on, on, on yeah. fitness that came out, uh, mm-hmm. there was a, a huge response to hashtag PCP fit life, and we got a yes, ton of fucking people working out and going to the gym and taking a walk. There was one guy that was just, like, in the woods, just just hanging out, just hanging out in the fucking woods. Yeah. Uh, beautiful. <laughs> Simply beautiful. Uh, um, please, please yeah, I don't more. know how many... We're going to make, uh-huh. we're gonna have to make some, like, merch, or, like, TC, like, a PCP, like, tank top or something, so we can get people yeah. in there. PCP Dude, Fit I would life. love to go to the gym with a PCP Fit Life tank top or something. That'd be we'll, fucking we'll, we'll sick. Do something like that. We'll fucking do something like that. We should definitely do that. Like, they have... I don't know if they have, like, tank tops on Redbubble or something, but we could definitely figure something out. PCP Fit Life is the way, the truth, and the light, though. We need to make this real, true, and revisit it. Uh, by the way, I, I mean, I guess on the subject of the PCP Fit Life, uh, I've been working out. It's, things have been going good. I've been lowering yeah. my sugar intake. I'm still avoiding all sugar. Really? And uh, life is good. Oh, yep. I'm doing, yep. uh, I'm going keto. I'm going oh, keto. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Really? Really? Yeah. I got to lose like 20 pounds. I, That's cool. I, gained, I gained like 20 Everyone pounds. Everyone needs this past to lose year. 20 I'm pounds. Mad about it. Go look it up. But most I, oh, wait, wait, wait. This is a diet, right, Ben? Yeah, yeah. The, the, are, what's is the that, idea behind is that keto? Is it all you just, going you to do, do that forever? I mean, it's you just you just go really low carb for a while. That's what that, it is. that's, that's pretty what much it is. all it is. Okay. Uh, do your raccoon tendencies? I give this a week. Uh, <laughs> no, no. I think this is pretty easy. I think yeah, this will it's actually not, be pretty easy. It's not easy. difficult to do keto, especially for someone like Ben who can live off of like peanuts for ten days. Like all he has to do is just only Digi, eat meat. You know, Digi yesterday. The only thing I ate was a bag of peanuts. There you go. No <laughs> way. No fucking way. <laughs> peanuts don't have any uh, carbs, do they? They have a. They have a bit. They do. Have but a bit. Ben, what about your? I mean, they do have protein. But 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 what of your? What of your omega threes? What of your vitamins? <laughs> I have. Oh wait, I have. I have a jar. I have a jar of fish oil pills somewhere. I'll dig it. Ah, out. perfect. <laughs> I'll oh, eat the entire. Yeah. I'll eat oh, the entire as one jar. Puck, as one j- puck. J- what, what was it? Yeah, I'll melt them together. What did we name that? Didn't we name that something last episode? It was like the. The, was Did it the we... Ben C or something? No, wait. It was the it was the so ugly. It was the so ugly. Uh, oh, the God. the log of yeah, of gummy it, vitamins. It was worth it. It was worth it. I don't even regret doing that. I recommend. <laughs> in fact, I recommend it. Uh, excellent. Uh, any, I mean, that's really it. We just wanted to talk about how awesome it was that people were actually sticking with this fit life. We got a bunch of it was just so beautiful. many pictures and shit. Beautiful. People were tweeting me. People were tweeting the PCP itself. We retweeted a lot of them, so keep tweeting at TP Crastinators with your hashtag PCP Fit Life, and we'll fucking retweet them. We'll, we'll we'll start a sensation and save the world from obesity and being gross. Oh my god! All Sick. the questions are actually relevant to the topic in this episode. The questions are good. They're not bad. The, okay, and they're okay. pretty Here, decent. But the before thing. we get to that, we got other shit to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. wait, whoa, 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 b- yeah. Okay, well, okay, fine, whatever. Fucking, I'll talk about it when we get to it. Well, okay, I mean, so so the next up is, it's the PCP theme contest, everybody, that's still going, it's real, and last episode, there were two entries, now that we got, like, fucking six this time, we got a whole bunch of fucking PCP themes. I I, want to see what the retention rate for the PCP is, because I guarantee you, as soon as we, and now, on to, like, 90% of viewers click off. Well, that's fine, we can, we can totally gauge that, (laughs) and if we, you know, if we know, then so be it. But uh, we won't change okay. anything. I don't understand. We won't change a I don't, thing. I don't we won't know. Why thing. do you think that? Because like I've always listened. I've never thought the question section was any worse than the show itself. Like I, I agree. always love the question. I agree. Section. I, I don't see why anyone. I mean, maybe at the very end when we say like. I mean, the show is just random discussion. Like it's never like a completely on topic or a complete view of the topic. The show well, is just time, us talking. Most of the time, so. the questions are just like, "Oh, these questions suck." Oh, here's here's what's your favorite anime, and then all of us grow and be like, "Oh, yeah, usually, we'll that we one. usually <laughs> just don't answer any of the bad questions and just find the good ones." Isn't that what I the, love we the usually Q&A section do? Personally, yeah, my favorite part. I don't, I don't think, part. It's, I don't think it's ever had like a real problem with its, with its existence. Well, YouTube other than not YouTube having enough good we'll take questions, a look, you know. Well, in any case, that is dead and irrelevant because Whoa. it's time to talk about PCP themes now. Yes. We're all going to fucking listen to them, so get your asses into the PCP themes chat 
We're oh. going to listen to all of them. Thank you oh. for sending us a link to Twitter. We can't fucking play this with our music box. We literally said to make it SoundCloud and YouTube. You have fucked up. I don't know how you did it this bad. What made you think that we could like that we were going to watch a video on Twitter? Who right. posts well, videos on Twitter? For the first one, I guess we'll all just have to hit play at the same time. Well, Jesus so I'm, Christ! Out the closet. Is this the one from uh, from? Gavin Watkins. This yes. is from Yo Um Hydrif Gavin Watkins. That's right. That's right. All right. Here we go. Let's, let's, let's remember, everybody. Tweet okay. us. Hashtag I, PCP. I need to be very theme, clear. Use... You need to what? read the part where he says, "This is an indirect recording of the theme." <laughs> if you like, I can give you a direct file so the sound quality what is a much better. Fucking... What? Oh, what? wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if I remember f- correctly, I, I listened to this, this earlier, one. and it sounds like it was like a cell phone recording out of the speakers playing. Let's not even, that's so let's stupid. Not even, let's not even listen to this one. Let's not even listen that, to this. What a terrible... Okay, oh you know what? Uh, wait, but okay, yeah. Dude, you gotta you gotta put that on SoundCloud or YouTube or something. Wait, All right, that's wait, fair stop, enough. Wait, wait, stop. Stop. What? Let's what? fucking think about this for a second. He has a music file. A, a computer file, which he then decides to record digitally with a microphone, and then upload that file. I, I actually have a development on this on this on this developing story um, because I actually did communicate with this guy and get him to send me a file. But here's the thing: here's the thing: the file that he sent, like in the, I, I gotta I gotta pull up this email that he sent because it was it was fucking fascinating. Um. Listen to this. Listen to this. Okay, so he said, like, hey, guys, you retweet my song. That's cool. So, listen. Okay, sorry. So he attached a file to this. It says, sorry if I accidentally sent you the wrong file. I'm in a setup stage for my computer, and I haven't set up the sound yet, but I'm pretty sure this what? is the right file. I also, listen to this, actually accidentally deleted the one from Twitter, so I spent a while trying to recreate it as best I could while changing some things. What? Like... How like, many things like, went wrong in like this he, process? Like, like he what made the song creator? in in whatever program, like saved it, uploaded it to Twitter, deleted the master file and all <laughs> other files, yeah. and the only form that existed was the one on Twitter, and then I it was deleted so. from Twitter. It's like that time that Digi deleted like every piece of his video, so he couldn't recreate it before. Uh, the fucking, uh, you know, before I mean, the video was up, are we gonna uploading. listen to, to it? Are we well, listen okay, to it? I am You're downloading insane. an AIF file that was attached to it right no, now. No, no, but like, upload it to SoundCloud or YouTube. We have to be strict, or we're gonna get people sending it on fucking crazy shit. We're gonna get people on mega upload. <laughs> okay, I I can hear sound from this, but no one else can hear it but me. So you gotta fix this, buddy. You gotta put this on on Twitter or fucking whatever. I apologize because I told him just to send it to us. No, you gotta put it on YouTube or SoundCloud or something. Uh, yeah. The end. All right, Thanks, now we're buddy. gonna now we're gonna play fucking one by Eric Sebas. <sighs> uh, it's called Crazy. All right. Oh, shit, this is all right. I know. <laughs> um, okay. That was I pretty like dope. Okay, that was it, really cool. It's pretty dope. I don't but it's really not, know it's if it reflects the aesthetic PCP. of the PC. It, it, this, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. this could have yeah. this yeah. This could be a jingle for literally anything. Yeah. I'm it gonna, was a little long, yeah. I think. It was a little redundant at the end for a for a theme song for like okay, the okay. opening of this thing. Th- th- this is an entirely misguided section and yeah. like I like I don't understand the like okay. No one is going like like uh, all the ones that we've had so far are not like PCP matching tonally, stylistically, or anything. Right. That's and true. We should have just made our right. own fucking theme song, like we already. Well, who's have. gonna fucking do that? <laughs> who's gonna do that? We not already me. have one. Yeah, yeah. Why, yeah. I don't understand uh, why we're even like why not just use the one we already. Yeah. yeah. Well, because you fucking cowards were saying how you God. didn't okay. think it matched the tone said, of the we're fucking a nation, no, no. We're a nation I said divided. that the op- using it as an opening was a bad idea. It was perfectly fine as the ending. It just doesn't make sense as an opening song. Well, th- that's because. the point. We're this looking for an opening. Why do we need we an opening song? decided we didn't want to do the intros, so I took it upon myself to put a clip of the theme song at the beginning, and Digi found it offensive right. that it would play the song at the beginning right. of the podcast. Yeah. Well, but I, I will I say... Did not, at no point was my encouragement that we create a new intro song. I don't like the idea of an intro song on a podcast. Like, I mean, well, it, it too works bad on, like, for the you, Dick my show, 
friend. Know if it's super yeah, just iconic, like the worst but... podcast in the world, The Dick Show. Thank God they don't have an opening okay, song. Okay, but their Thank opening God. song is like, it, not only is it extremely unique, but like the fact that he yells yeah over it as it's fading out is like Whoa, the point. Whoa, so you're telling me there's like a good way to do an opening yeah, song? Yeah. No way, <laughs> but no this way. this is not the way to do that. If, right, only, yeah. if only we could okay. like have some sort of competition to like do I that. I should get residuals every time you use that damn Oh, there he is. <laughs> there oh my God. <laughs> your, your residuals were getting paid for being on episode. Jesse, Those are your residuals. So much. I'm owed money for my song. <laughs> Jesse, if you don't want us to edit, you're out. You're going to have to sync with us at the end, yo. Anyway, to get off the lofty philosophical no, abstract. Wait, remember the leaving. last time Tavu tried to I kick Jesse to from the PCP that. episode? Oh, God. To make it funny, I'm leaving. <laughs> wait, wait, please send us your audio. We need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Otherwise, that'd be good. we'll That'd be cry. helpful. All right. Uh, listen. Next song. <laughs> Go. Okay, yeah. okay. okay. Hold on. What do what do people want? Like like what kind of uh? Right. Let's give them some. Like help. like like what do we help. want out of this? Yeah. Theme? No. I have actually. Okay, well, I've been trying to play like, my fucking like, constructive everyone criticism. Everyone, shut up. I would like some funny like like a, so, a couple of funny joke lyric lines. That like no, are about the PCP. No, no, no. that's no, I exactly agree. the opposite I agree. of what I would want. Thanks, I want Nate. no lyrics. Everyone else is I like, like, like having a, a unique second. opening on every video. Why are we not doing that anymore? Okay, okay, did you? Okay, okay, did you? Wait, that okay. was voted the, 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 down the, the, by no, these people. The reason why we stopped doing it is because the uh, the intros were shit. Like for the past like thirty episodes of intros, it was just like okay, Google search the word of what the episode is. Okay, just well then let's clip, not do a shitty low effort version and just do the good ones we used to do. Then. No, that one was like will a no one's gonna the editors edit those. No one's gonna edit those. That. They don't want to do that. Yeah. You guys make a shitload of money editing look, this thing. I don't care look, what you when, want to do. Make the show good. Look, when when the intros were forced, when they were obligatory, they were uninspired and bad. That's what happened. All right. When they look, made them look, luckily, we found a solution: a PCP theme contest to make a good theme song. <laughs> yeah. Like here we are doing the the solution. Like, let's just keep going, All shall right, we? Here, here's the fucking next one by No, Dank no, Water. I'm not done talking about this one, guys. I just guys. don't think okay. this is a good solution okay. 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 to the problem. God, I dude. have to pee so much. All right, dude, I want to talk about the one, you I want to talk about the one we already listened to. It's the one we already listened to. Uh, okay. Not into generic rock, you know, guitar shredding. Even if it's good shredding, playing, whatever the fuck word I'm supposed to use. Even if it's well mixed. I'm glad that it sounds professional. I know most podcasts, they think that that's the standard. Like, just basically have basic instrumentation and it's well mixed. I, will, I want something like more particular and like original. I already have zero punctuation in my life. I played, I watched lots of the other escapist shows and I also listened to The Biggest Problem. I'm completely full of competent guitar playing as an Okay, intro. but listen to this though. I just want everyone to know, this is an important fact you should know. No one here has veto power. So if like, if everybody likes it except one person, it could definitely be used. So like, we're just. This is a group decision. It's yeah. a democratic if process. If everyone so wants like, to have bad you know. taste and pick a bad song, except right. For one Me person. and Digi are both that's against right. generic right. guitar pieces. Oh so yeah, that's that last two one was absolute no for me because it literally sounds like every other <laughs> podcast intro. Like. And it was not distinctive. There's no melody that's gonna stick in your head. Like, yeah. I mean, I definitely want something more distinct. It I do, only I, had I some do sort agree. of like, like strong melodic, like, like easily quotable thing that you could like burst in the song all the time. Be like, almost like if you had like a cool outro, like you know, I'm supposed to. Be, you know, <laughs> it is a like great that. outro. This is not about an outro. <laughs> This is about I mean, that's an true. intro. We shouldn't have a, a, an opening. Is what I'm saying. We, we should have, have an opening. Have one. The show should wait, not wait, have wait, an wait, opening. Wait, 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 it Munchie, should either just fuck? start or have an, in I, I, an I, intro. Nate, I've literally been a, I've literally been against this. I've literally been against this since the beginning of this idea. I've that been is on fucking record. bullshit. That is fucking bullshit. Well, you never you said mean? shit. At the very beginning of this being an idea, I said I will not be a part of this. I will I will like go along with <laughs> Look, the group. But I have yeah. not been I have not well, been on board. I didn't know that may be true, but I don't believe it. Let me put it this way. <laughs> I'm somewhere in the middle on this. I'm willing. I'm. I'm more cooperative with this idea. I'm optimistic to see what they can come up with. But here's I'm prepared. Said at the beginning, if they're all bad, we right. just that's won't what use I'm saying. Them, so, I know. am prepared to say no to all of them because I know making a good song is damn near impossible, even for highly talented individuals. Yeah. No. Yeah. No offense. Like it's really right, hard do to do. We want to see if one of these guys right. somehow knocked yeah, out of the park. Keep- the, 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 yeah, yeah, by, by Dank Lord. It's by Dank Lord. Here we go. H- like, hello. Peace, 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 peace. <laughs> Whoa. I actually like this a lot. Peace, peace. Um. Okay. Huh. I don't. Right. I don't want this for the intro, but I do want. Wait. Follow it or else. If you leave. 
leave a comment before the video and please kill yourself. <laughs> yeah! Ooh, yeah! There is no such thing as objective criticism. Yeah. You wanna know why? It's cause anime is a Japanese colloquialism. <laughs> what will we see? A dude in dictionary. If you wanna make your Christ consciousness high, then you should try. PCD. PCD. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. The PCB, PCB. <laughs> now they're here to fight for me and you. PCB, PCB. The best guy ever and some other people too. <laughs> PCB, oh, yeah! <laughs> PCB, <laughs> PCB. <laughs> but they <laughs> all do. <laughs> oh, man. Fitness. She has weaponized thickness. So oh, it's all no, not that one. Why? 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 It's nothing but trash. Whoa, those tits! I love those tits so much! And he's that homestuck fuck with that homestuck suck. <laughs> Life is a cage yeah. and death is the key. Red on three! PCP! PCP! This is long oh, AF. Yeah. This is real! Yeah. This is an actual PCP theme song. Like, it's, it's yeah, this is an intro. It's not I loved it though. Okay, Dude. so all right, all right. Dude. All right. I have some thoughts. I have some thoughts. Uh, okay, well, it's great and it's funny. That was incredible. That was the and, best and, one and by far it. so far. Dude, Hell yeah. Okay, it's really long. Um, I kind of think. Okay, well, we I could shrink use... it. We could shrink it for our opening. We could edit it down. You know, that's always possible. I'm not saying we it... necessarily okay. need to go. Okay. With okay. I don't I think don't it'll work as an opening. If I love the yeah. shit, the PCP. I don't know if that's yeah. gonna be fresh I think, forever. I think that the problem but, is the song does not have the best production quality, and it is yeah, yeah, really true. funny as a joke song that we play on the podcast. But it would right. not. Yeah, work. I, wouldn't we want do that. I don't know if it has staying. Though. I meant. I meant just now. We have already exhausted right. the full breadth of that joke. Like it's yeah, great. It was like, a great moment. I'm never gonna. Some shit, like I, you know? I can't give it like an emphatic. Like I want to hear that to intro every episode. Thumbs up. As, as I said in the last time we did the contest, I don't know if this con. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not terribly into the song where the lyrics are all a bunch of references to the shit. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm not. I am. But it's like, mm, do, so do you I want am. it to be PCP themed or do you want it not PCP themed? Like generic or something? When like, I, when I say, when, when we talk about having a theme that fits the tone <laughs> of the show or like fits the show, I don't mean one that makes references to the show. I mean, it doesn't have to do that. It's, it's like, really funny that you're having this that conversation either. because like me and Munchie just recently like constructed a perfect intro for our show. And I'm just like, why don't we just do the same thing we did there? Which is just well, like, what, a, what show wait, is that? Wait, what are you talking about? The one for uh, stealing your dad's, the stealing your dad's opening. Like. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's like 20 yeah. seconds, a fun rap song with some goofy lyrics that explain the point in brief, and like, and, and just like, the, it's basically the same thing as the ISMA one, like, mm. to me, that, that was, was like, yeah. if you All were right. gonna do an intro, it should just be like 20 seconds and explains the point of the podcast yeah. in a funny way. The, the, you know? the intro for Stealing Your Dad is beautiful, and it will be out in the next uh, episode. That will be live, so get hyped for that shit, everyone. Cool. Uh, um, I mean, that I'm, seems like reasonable advice. I want it to be like relatively short and punchy. Short and punchy, so and, and, and it has a strong melody, and be about the PCP, but also yeah. still, like, no matter what. I literally like, get the listen. This guy's got heart, though. Yeah, that guy that, had that, fucking that, heart. That's a lot of I, mean, I loved how smile, you could tell he was smiling during the whole recording, like a big, giant yeah. autism yeah. smile, if you know what I mean? But, like, oh, I, I, yeah, I do want yeah, to say, I, do I, wanna say yeah. I will We're always be, I will always be more likely to give the thumbs up to a song that doesn't have lyrics for, uh, versus one that does, just because... Again, podcast intro. I do think twenty seconds is about right. All right, th uh, this, well, this is, this is my uh, mostly MIDI. This is a video on YouTube, and he did the thing that we said not to, and like had like a I video just, in the background. It just oh. is a bunch of like images. I rotating. just want to. I just like, want to say right. about well, okay. the song. I really, I really too late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really, <laughs> you can see you can your points. Okay, this is just literally the Final Fantasy intro, isn't it? It's similar. It's pretty chill. It's pretty mm. chill. It's I, not I, us, I mean, though. It's a little too <laughs> chill. It's a little too chill. It does chill. sound like it was made on, like, the chip tube. Again, <laughs> again, These it's... people have put in hours to, like, do this, like, futile song contest, and now when they get on, all we do is just shit on them and be like, oh, no, no, we don't want to <laughs> no, do listen, it. No, listen, listen. That, no, no, nice. no, no, no. that was nice, but again, yeah. it was generic. Munchie, it doesn't sound yeah. like a think PCP of it this way. Song. No, none of these people could have even spent more than like a week or two on this, right? 
like we only announced the contest <laughs> so long ago, so it's not like we're burning I mean, down their fucking masterpiece. Spent like a whole you know? week. Well, uh, all right, they're entering a contest, and here they I, are. I facing release the songs fire. better than this every day. All right, so I'm gonna yeah. be harsh on these people. If right. I could it's make the, the well, intro for the show myself, I'm, there's no reason we need it, one, a contest. It's not. It's not hype because 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 right. the reason we didn't like the outro song for the intro was that it wasn't hype. Exactly. Right? Yeah, I mean, I, it was just I, kind I of like distinctly slow possible. Need. Are we now, I don't know this like for a, sh- a fact, show. but I'm sure that there's some people out there who were working on a song anyway, who were just right. like, I don't know, let's fucking enter I, this. You right. know, that's what, that's what the, the first one and this one feel like. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I can't prove it, and maybe I'm wrong, but it, it could have been the case they just made a song anyway. Like, that's pretty good. I, 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 would, I would say yeah. this intro is closer than the ones I've heard so far, but not in a good way, if that makes any sense. Like, uh, I think this is the it, it at least It, it, it at <laughs> yeah. least feels like, ah, sitting down to hear people From talk, but it is too, it is, it, we do want one that's more energetic. So I guess that is another thing. It's like we're sort of using these as the initial wave of pawns to churn through to then Absolutely. analyze. Like, Absolutely. okay, here's what you did wrong. Here's what you did wrong. And as we analyze and destroy these people's lives and dreams, we're like understanding slowly <laughs> well, what I we mean, actually fair, want. We're getting more and more specific each time. So That's yeah. how you become like a content creator. You just make shit that sucks. And then you just figure out what you did wrong. And then you fix it as you go. So whatever. All right, let's go to the next one. What's the, the next one? Th- this is by <clears throat> Alex C. Beal. Oh. Alex I know that Terrible theme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's <laughs> terrible. It's, it's that's too, not going you know, on. We can't use that. No, terrible. That's like yeah. No, that's like it's that's not like, hype, and it's also very long. That's like when you're watching do, do when you're watching hype? the anime when you're watching a season of an anime, and then like one of the episodes has like a really sad like part of the narrative ending, and it does a different ending yeah, theme song for that episode. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you know, that's what that one is. That's good. Okay, that's let's, good. let's clarify real quick here. Do we want it to be hype or just upbeat? Do we want it to be okay. like a happy like I don't fun know. song? I don't, I don't even want, know. I just want it to sound like it would be what you want to hear before a PCP podcast. Like that. I won't know right. it until I hear it. That's what's important. <laughs> right. to be yeah, fair. this isn't. This is. This we, is we, not we could just open. have like a happy version of the yeah, normal song. I think we can clearly say that that song did not suit the tone of right. Yeah, yeah, so you can think about the that. way that we open our show. For any dickheads who think about how Dick always opens the show and how his theme plays into that real well, right? That's good. So think about how we start our show, which is usually with Nate like busting and saying the shit or Munchie, you know, and then we yeah. introduce each each and every one of us. Yeah. And like, what's the right mo- mood you want to be in I mean, right before we open with the up intros, the intros? I would just have them fade whatever song the right is mood playing is under his under Nate's intro. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's the right thing to do. And I mean like I don't know like if we're struck with like some great song and we just like think that like oh if we just do something slightly different as an opening we can like work that like I, hey man it's all i'm hoping to experiment and do all, all kinds right, of let's crazy go through shit these here things. it's fucking we're like two and a half hours okay. on. Ne- ne- next one is by groundless slash a uh, garbage burner uh, this okay. is pcp uh, punk old GD. rock anarchy <laughs> Oh, 
All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. I like this quote. Good song. Look at the song. Wow, reference. Uh-huh. <laughs> this this would be like okay. a good AMP song. This needs people screaming over it. Yeah. Oh, I can. I it's in me! Ah, it's an episode! Ah! Yeah. It's Oh, oh, it stopped already. I was gonna sing it. I really oh, liked it, it so much. Uh, yeah. Not for the PCP I, necessarily, but I, I liked get, it a lot. I, I, I can't. I find it hard. Okay, I think tonally it was about right, but I find I can't. I don't know if I can sign off on a, on a theme song that is like that could be the opening to to any podcast. Yeah, yeah. I generally agree. I just, uh, since we're doing a contest, I'm shooting for the stars. Frankly, you mm-hmm. know. And uh, that that's it. That's it for this Wait, round. Wait, no, there's there, another one. There's PJD? another one. We already played it last episode. We already played it last episode. Oh, oh I did. Oh, okay, okay. I'll have to listen later. I didn't even know this contest was happening until I came into this episode. So. And that's why, that's, you know, uh, that, that, these why, episodes force why, us to That's why we voted today. you out of the PCP. <laughs> game, the we, were, we were waiting to tell you. Uh, well, that was good. All right. Just take that feedback, listen to that whole section, infer what you can from it, and work on it, everybody. Do, do we, I mean, should we have people in the comments, like, comment on, like, what you what you think about the Feel free, but I don't care what they think. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> That's fair. N- uh, n- none of us know what we want, and n- some of us don't even want I know exactly like, completely... what I want. I want no theme song. I want individual <laughs> intros on every episode well, like it was back well in the day. Well, we can't very well do that but after we've uh, done just this contest or it'll be embarrassing. That's what I suggested first, and I was voted down. So frankly, shut the fuck up and get look, on board with the program. Look, because that's what's happening I, now. Look, we're all, it's we not, don't even want to do it anymore. We're just <laughs> I don't obligated. Do it. I'm in this now. We're contractually I'm obligated to carry this contest. I'm interested. Now. I'm invested now. I like this, and I want to keep doing it. This I, is great. I don't mind. I mean, I think it's. I mean, I think getting all these submissions is great. Like, well, there you go. Da- there Dank you go. Lord and a- Dank Lord and Alex's songs right, well, were a fucking uh, joy. Je- Jesse is suggesting that we let. Good. He says that because our criteria are all massively contradictory, we should just let the fans vote. That's the exact. That is the worst. No, thing absolutely that I would ever not. No. Fuck the fans. I think yeah. no, we should just let the fans not. vote. I am at least curious of their right. input. Like their. Okay. I want. Oh yeah, I, I want, want to hear their input. input I but want I'm not them to vote to on whether or not they think we should have a theme song. Like, okay, I again, or not might they just think, ignore them because I yeah. personally like when we started putting the the opening on the the show like. I didn't know at first because I wasn't listening back to the shows. I had I missed a bunch of episodes, but May listens to all of them. And she was like, yeah, I skip it every time. It's a huge pain in the ass. So I was like, well, obviously everyone's doing that because nobody wants to hear the song for the thousandth time for 30 whole seconds at the start of the episode. So, like, unless it's insanely well, you, short, that like, was like I want to know. Uh, yeah, that happened like one time. That, yeah, that happened one time. It was enough. It I was the one time like I saw it, and I was intro. like, "This is horrifying." Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was too luckily long. Luckily, we one fixed time. it. it yeah. Jesus. All right, look, guys. This is what's happening. It's over. We're doing a PCB theme. There's no debate now. We are in it. There's no challenging this. Look, if we what decide a, this what a shit, nightmare. yeah. No, no, this is great. Get excited. Get happy. This is like, why you should. This is this, this is Trump's America. This is Trump's it's America. Sad we have to debate this because I like I like getting the. I really like these songs. I really like that they're being made, the and so I like the. I like the contest for that reason, but now it's so fraught. It's so fraught. Okay, so the thing is, you know, we keep saying all these criteria, but speaking only for myself, if you just make a great song, great song that makes me hype just because it's great, you might you might be able to get a thumbs up for me. Just be like, you know what? Maybe this doesn't fit my preconceived notions of what the, the tones, sh- the show's tones should be, but the song is great on its own. It makes me hyped on its own. I, I really win. like the Here's second what you one gotta that do. played. You gotta get the Beyblade animated TV show <laughs> theme. You gotta change... Yeah. The thing that they say at the end, they say, let's Beyblade, you gotta change that to PCP, and that's what you gotta do, that's what I'll get my vote in the general election, P- vote for that. Yeah. I want to be a uh, al- uh, acapella of Ocarina of Time songs, that's the PCP intro. Hmm. <laughs> all right. Let's go home. Let's go home. Let's everyone. we. All right. Let's go to. Let's go um, to questions. Oh God, no! Hang on, Please hang on. Hang on. Right, let it end. Let the show be over. Can we? No, we, we have, have to, to. We have to. This is the segment. What are these? What are all these weird? Like, why are we obligating ourselves to <laughs> random things we've said we're going to do all the time? Like, 
Can we not make decisions that change I mean, and evolve based on the situation well, that is obviously in front of us? That, like, well, when well, things well, are bad, well, don't on. let them we, keep being bad, you know? We told people that we were going to read questions, and people have asked questions accordingly. Yeah, but do they even really care? Look, look, no, we can I mean, bust through the questions thing know. in, like, three minutes. Apparently. We, we, okay, yeah. we, 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 this is a, this is a simple, a simple issue. Like, when, when, when the episode goes long, we do less questions. So let's just do less questions. All There's right. plenty this of them is, here. All right. Here it is. Look, look, here's a question. Here's the pity pick question, out, just all pick right? Pick out some gems. Here it is. Here it is. This is the one. All right, this is, this is a, a question that is answered by another question in this thing. All right, here it is. This is from at Biscuit Meep. Are there any episodes of the PCP that you wish were never made? And there's another question from iClone that says, can you do another show similar to the monster episode? <laughs> it was everyone. <laughs> favorite. There's the joke, everybody. <laughs> Monsters 2 literally went. That's what I want. Monsters you. Immediately. Great, oh, great question. Dude. Next question. There it is. That's that's the pity questions done. <laughs> On to the bonus lounge. What do they got? What do they got? Um, someone just says driving is gay, no question mark. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's, let's talk about that. Let's that is not that. the question. <laughs> I mean, the, the, is there the, anything I that you did in your point. childhood that really makes you cringe now? A cringing <laughs> is stupid, and childhoods are great. And if you did something stupid as a kid, it's not like, oh my god, I'm fucking so stupid. It's just like, wow, you did something wrong. Well, everyone's I don't done know, something man. Wrong. I remember. Do it. I remember Jimmy Newtype. He said, "One cares not to acknowledge the mistakes of one's youth." John, Johnny Neutron also said, "Got a blast." Do we listen to him? Do we blast up? Do we fucking have a Holocaust every day of our life? Do we do jihad just because Johnny Got Neutron wants us to? No, we live our own lives, dude. We're autonomous. We're not ISIS bombers like you okay. and Johnny Neutron. Uh, uh, feeling the emotion of cringe and thinking that it's a bad thing is the big. The, 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 that's the first mistake. That's the first like yeah. clue that you're not mature. That's is that you think meme. cringe is, is bad, is and it's not mature. true. Yeah. Uh, cringe, cringe, cringe culture like like Chibi Bakas. Literally, we are bringing Chibi back. Me and Hippo are in the process of reviving Chibi. This is the point of Chibi Bakas. That's okay. What we're doing. Next, question. Being I'm looking cringe, forward like, to that. Drawing like Yaoi is not cool. You should be proud of what you've done. Actually, I have an answer to that Next question. question. No. Next question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Next question. How much rape, bro? Question mark. How much what? rape, bro? Yeah. Why? Next question. No. Next, question. Next, question. <laughs> Next question. Next question. Next question. Uh, All of uh, these are just terrible. They are. I mean, this, okay. Let's over. Let's this, go home, I, this, The problem with this is that when you tell people the topic, sometimes they're all like the same question and suck. Uh, what was your favorite all, anime all as a child? Uh, there you go. That's, <laughs> That's the same question, but child version. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Uh, excellent. Ugh. Excellent. Shit, wait, uh, who was Naruto. that? Uh, wait, was that a real question or was that, that you That was a, a real question. That okay. was a real... Wait, okay. who asked that? Right. Who asked that? Uh, someone oh. says, what were your dreams and ambitions like as wee little lads? Do you have anything common um, with your ambitions Oh, it, it was, it was Are You Guy what, when you were a kid. What was your favorite anime? Oh, so my, my dream and ambition as a kid uh, was that, right? to make a fucking uh, manga <laughs> because I liked Dragon Ball. I had I had one volume of Dragon Ball... Uh, Dragon, j just Dragon Ball in the in the library, and I would read it and reread it over and over again. I'd be like, I want to do this. Right. And I, and I drew Veterinarian, things. as I already said in the episode. My dream as a little kid was to trick a Digi Bro into talking to me. Whoa, <laughs> dude, same. What a, what a mistake. <laughs> when I was young, I wanted to be really ripped. That was my as as, as a result of watching Dragon Ball Z and later. Uh, one I piece. just wanted to be an anime character. Didn't really care which one. <laughs> my dream was just to be some sort of artist professionally. So yeah. My dream was to what? make two million dollars, and it's still my dream right now. We have fan art too. We have a fan art section. God no. The fan art. It'll just be on screen. Here's all of it right now. Here's all of the okay, fan yeah, art. Okay, yeah, here on we go. Questions right done. Time for the time for the fan art, which we were supposed to do before questions. But who gives a wow, shit? Wow, look at all, all right. this amazing fan. Look art. at this first one. Hey, thanks, uh, Paran Unit Zero One Paran for the cool unit. drawing picture of me. Nate. Great, whatever. Excellent. Adam Desu, <laughs> picture Nate. Great, Wait, whatever. Wait, no, no, this one's good. This one's <laughs> yeah, actually I like good. I mean, I'm in it. I feel whatever. like I feel like the 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 the, the spites that we're like spitting right now uh, <laughs> at just like people's like hard work trying to make us feel. <laughs> yeah. It's not even your fault. It's not really bad for the fans. It's not your fault. It's not you. People that worked really hard to express their sincere admiration of us fuck you 
It, yo, this one innate was good. It, it looks I like. Okay, but the Except one, one, the one pointing at the great. city with his fucking all of his hair bulging yeah. out and everything. All right, let's get to that. So ba- backstory Dino spinach. Dino no, spinach. Ba- backstory for this is yeah. Ethan uh, said in <clears throat> chat. Uh, wow. Okay, okay. Actually, like complex backstory here. Usually for every like questions, uh, we like announce we're doing questions, and then at the end, Nate will say, "Oh, like we're done. We're done doing questions now." Yeah. And so everyone will be like, "Okay, bye." But mm-hmm. last time he didn't say we're done doing questions, and so for the past oh, week, shit. I've been occasionally going to chat and saying, "Guys, we're still going. We need more <laughs> questions." So I've been doing that for like the past week, and then eventually I was in a call with Ethan, and he said, "Like, hey, like, like he asked a question, and he said, "Hey, Munchie, how do I troll my best friend without him knowing?" And then I said this by stuffing a barf soap in your mouth and walking a football field away. Also, I'll be kicking you double that, son. And then someone He's made fan of Wait, Munchie here. Jeez. Wait. Yeah. Wait, 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 going back, going back to the Urban Dictionary one. Yeah. Look at the way that it's shaded. Look at the way that shadows were applied. It's baffling. Uh, Like, well, the shading technique employed here is baffling. I don't think it's this person like, is an catching. expert in it's shading. Catching. Well, it's weird, because, like, he did it right in oh. certain places, but then he, like, 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 look at the folds on your robe. Like, that makes sense, like, down uh, yeah. at the bottom. Yeah. But then over it, there's just these big, thick fucking bars it's, that it's are supposed to be, like, those on are, a fucking big grill. Well, those are That's anime not... blush lines, yeah, we were, is what those Yeah, we are. were all grilled. Yeah, we were all grilled. We I, I think grilled. the point of that is that the, the light is at his back, so he was trying to make it like he was darker in the front. Oh, know? no, I get I get what he was mm. going for. He just... But his technique is bizarre, is all I'm saying. Look at look at Ben's face on the bottom left there. Look at his just, like... Who cares about this fan art of a lot of us? How about this fan art yeah. of only me? How about that? How about <laughs> yeah, you mean this one for that? The la- lane slimes? That one down there? Of no, the... we're talking no. about dinosaurs. I like, I like that me and Nate okay. are directly in front of each other, like we're nemesis. Uh, that's, that's true. That's Everyone true. else is just observing. Um, the I look. What is I'm the, the only one not making a comment. I'm just giving a death stare. It's the, the angel and the demon. You know, Nate and <laughs> yes. Mage. That's how it is. Yeah. That's how yeah. it is. <laughs> I have a huge dick in this. A huge dick, lots of pubes, lots of pubes. My my manhood. Uh, Munchie, what was the BD for though? I forget. I have no clue. I have no. I'm assuming assuming big dick. I'm assuming big dick. I assumed big dick as well. It, okay. I, this was like I'm, I'm in the, the chat because I saw where this was. It was for a specific reason that BD was there, but I can't fucking remember. Becca, daddy. Yeah. Black All right. Well, day. whatever. Then we have another uh, one just of me because I'm just such a, I'm just such like a photogenic person that everyone just wants to draw me over. This is my line slime. This is me eating my my ice cream soup. Ice cream <laughs> I, soup. I, 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 I love is. ice cream soup. That's my favorite I would soup. Eat it. I would eat it. You fucking uh, animals. Yeah. Uh, beautiful. Uh, Thank you. Except this... that I'm on keto now. There you wow. go. Why yeah. much? Why? What the actual fuck? Why? Why? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, here's my chip. Why? Well, it just is like a digi, like cool. Okay, like like nice, good. like good. One. I like the shading like on the My ice cream soup is different though. from Munchie's ice cream soup. Probably just just. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. It, it, Mage, okay. what is your ice cream soup? Hey, it's just literally melted ice cream. I like melting ice cream. Unpopular opinion. I I really like the expression on this drawing of me, by the way. Yeah, it's great. yeah, same. D- did you, it's uh, cute. Uh, ben, it's ben, big what, ben, what? Go, go, let me, go. Let me, let me make a radical proposal. Let me mm. make a um a modest proposal, yeah. if I may. Um, maybe mm. art of one of us doesn't count. But what I know if what you, you get art of you a lot and you like it a lot and you want to talk about it? What? Uh, I I hear what you're saying, and there's there's definitely some logic to that. There's some logic. Like to that. like this is not like this is. This first one is Nate fan art, and this second to last one is Munchie fan art. This is not PCP fan art. But, like, oh... And, and same with Digi. Maybe okay, we but, just need to use the smell test if it seems PCP related or not. I mean, well, yeah. okay, but, you right. know, like, is haven't like been the given, the, one. haven't been given, okay. haven't been given the chance to use the smell test. Most of these would not have. Been. Well, the, okay, no, 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 like the digi right. one, I would argue, I guess it's just G- digi fan art, but the rest the, is yeah, TCP related. Okay, all right. Then you got the TCP we, we, we should smell test these before. All right, we, all right. Here really we go. Good. This is from I like Ka- this one. Ka- Carabelle. I have not seen this. Can we? Can we play? Do we have to just hit play at the same time? Oh God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you have sure. to like right, click and pause so it would load for you. Uh, yeah. okay. I will click and pause. Uh, all right. All right. I'll do that. Count of three. Let's all press play. One, okay. two, two, three. Three. Go. Unbearable. Hello, heat. everyone, and welcome okay. to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. Look at him go. I am the best guy ever, and today <laughs> we're no joined flat. by an illustrious cast of goons years. and scoundrels. <laughs> First up, Ben Saint. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm so sick because my body has been neglected. 
<laughs> it's wasted away. Very nice. There it is. Uh, what, what can I do? <laughs> That's why I'm on keto. Uh, did, only did I mention I'm on keto? Munchy. Where's uh, Teddy Hatch? You guys do this podcast quick because I'm <laughs> yeah. melting. I'm about to be a puddle on the floor in about <laughs> 10 minutes. Dude, I love Olaf from Frozen. Dude, I love <laughs> The Wizard of Oz. Dude, I love Nuclear Throne. Ice Cube. Dude, dude, I love water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, crit is here. Yeah, uh, well, are, are, nice. are we uh, so funny that we deserve animations? Like, are yeah. we just like such like a like a unique cast of characters that we're going to play like an audio clip of like a like a part of our show that we've already had? They're just like on the show wholesale again. Are we um, just so? Yeah, we can put that. We could probably can, edit that in in the. In yeah, the we'll video. edit it in. It was delightful. Yeah, it's easy. And I'll fucking fight you, Munchie. Oh, <laughs> I, I like good. that. It was good. I liked I it. I, I wasn't sure why he chose of all segments to choose one like that. He I don't is, know. The intros seem to be I think, popular. I don't know. for. I think he picked him. Wait, wait. Was that like... I mean, that was a recent episode, right? Yeah, it yeah. was. Maybe he was just picked the most recent episode. Please explain to us. Please, with a gun to your head, tell us why you chose but Maybe he, did, he, he wanted to do the Olaf joke and the melting part. And what a joke it was. <laughs> 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 Nah, hey, um, thanks, uh, Carabella. We have to yeah. leave. Goodbye. All right. all right, listen, everybody. Hey, thanks for being here. We are actually done now. Thank and you so much for all of your art and four music and yeah, stuff. Thanks, everyone. We appreciate everybody who made anything for us, including with the themes. Forgive I, I, us. Forgive sorry us. Sorry, that you're so sorry. I'm 18 now. I'm 18 now. It took so long. I'm 18 now. I'm no longer a child. I've grown up. All right. Yeah, th there you go. Uh, uh, Patreon.com <clears throat> slash The Procrastinators. $5 bonus episodes. Pa There's a new one out now. Go to Patreon.com slash The Procrastinators to cancel your pledge because we trashed your song. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, one dollar, you're in the bonus lounge. You have more questions, more visibility. Uh, all more good. questions. Uh, at TV Crastinators, more questions forever. <laughs> at TV Crastinators, the Twitter. Send us more. Now remember, hashtag PCP theme. If you want to do the music for the themes, listen back to that section. Figure that shit out for yourself. And hashtag PCP fit life. If you want to be a fit boy, we'll retweet your shit. Is that going to be like and a lot of retrain segment now? Um, well, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> and oh, then God. just be fit and do that. And then hashtag PCP fan art, or possibly hashtag uh, PCP art, but fan art works better. Uh, and send us your pictures, and we'll fucking talk about it, but they're good. So okay? Fake. Thanks so for being here, everybody. Right. It's time We're to fucking die. Machine. Good yeah. bye!